Not recording. Let me just pull up my recap. Fuck oh you. Oh my boy. Hi, YouTube. YouTube. Oh. We're starting off strong today. <laughs> Fuck you. All right. Last we left the... It was time to get down to business. Finley met Lore the Grinning Cat, quickly finding a way out of her spiral, much to her seeming glee. She claimed Nickname to be a false friend and advised Finley Finley to seek out books in Scabatha's lair. Minip's pilgrimage was a success, drawing a small crowd to his sermon at his now time-cradled shrine. Returning with, a ga with gathered allies to the inn at the end of the road, the party set off to downfall, preparing for nearly a week's journey to the swampy home of Bavlorna Blightstraw. Instead, they arrived only a few hours later at noon, confused but intending to strike while the lazy hag slept. The beginnings of a plan hatched. Idris silently flew the foggy skies above downfall, scoping out a few balloons as well as a gazebo-like palace, before landing to perform a casting of augury to the results of Wheel. Dirtcrawler and Finley snuck into town to visit Yui's old party member, esteemed artificing tailor Zoiga Vogue who began rapidly crafting them each a set of dragonhide armor in exchange for Xkartha's wings. Max and Minip assisted Yui in the crafting of several smoke grenades. We pick up with this group having just finished, slightly earlier than the rest. Yui breaks off to finish her own preparations. Max and Minip, you, and you exit the staff quarters. As you do, Minip make a dexterity check. <gasps> oh, what? He just oh, drops damn. all the bombs. <laughs> Okay, hang on, where's my 20 at? Ooh, first roll of the boss fight. Uh, ooh, it's actually pretty good. It's 15 plus zero because my dex is dunk. All right, uh, and then make me a perception check. God damn it. Uh, perception, perception, perception. That's an eight plus... Four, 12. Um, all right, let me roll. Sure. Uh, you, uh, look down in your hand, someone bumps you as you exit the room, uh, and a note is slipped into your hand. You look to see the recipient is a not quite so knightly like the guards you've seen in the tower, but a well-dressed mercenary-looking bully rug heading up the stairs of the inn. Uh, what does the note say? Um, uh... Priestly man, we have obtained those who have who would wrong you. Please visit Baron Illig von Munk Muckstump, uh, floor two, room F of the inn at the end of the road. We have business to discuss. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I'll pocket that. Um. What would you like to do? You can follow this lead or go back to other preparations. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna seek out Sue. All right. Uh, yeah. Let's I'll just prepare. Sue might be right now. <laughs> All right, uh, you do not see Sue in the common area when you look for her. Uh, you can make yeah. an investigation check to sort of poke around elsewhere. Yes, please. That's going to be... Oh, that's good. What's my investigation modifier? 17 plus 2, total 19. All right. Um, yeah, you poke around. Uh, you, you ask a few people, and uh, Adrena in the kitchen goes... Oh, um, she just popped into the garden, actually. Uh, I don't know when she'll be out. I can, I can, like, I think I just knock on the wall, you said. Um, and Adrena sort of, like, goes over and starts inspecting the wall. Um, with it sort of, you recognize where the weird garden entrance was. And she's like, I'm not, she, she just kind of turned into a squirrel and ran into the ceiling. I, I don't really, I don't really know how to get in there. I know how to get in there. Can I get in there? Uh, yeah, you know how to get into the uh, little garden area. You sort of 
you have to get a broom and knock on the ceiling in the right place a couple times because Yui just kind of made it appear from nothing. But a hatch drops down, you're able to climb in, and uh, you find Sue in the garden. Hey, Cho. Oh, hey, hey, hello there, pretty. Good morning. Hi. Uh, I just got approached by a really dangerous walking guy. Do you know anything about uh, the boy walks in, was it floor two, room F? I uh, floor two, room F, yeah. Um, oh, uh, it was a new group, came in late last night with all you, uh, party, partying folks. Uh, said he was one of the people, at, some of the folks at your sermon, but I didn't quite see him. Okay, think there's any chance I'll get, like, assassinated if I go see him? Violence is real frowned upon here in the end. I assume, uh, should anything violent happen, you will come in through the walls. Oh, cool. Hmm. Have we arrived in, in downfall already? It looks different out there. Yep. Uh, oh no, it's weird. Well, you will not be killed. I'll fly. Uh, she goes back to her garden and... Well, I guess I'll go check out what's in the room. Yeah. Uh, Max, what are you doing in the meantime? You following Minip around? You're going to do something else. You have the bombs. Max is the one holding all the bombs. I'm going to say I have all the bombs. Um, Michael, where's Dirt and everyone gone? Who was the bag of holding? That it could be safe to um, not have all everyone... the bombs. The rest of the party, aside from Minip, is in the sort of artificer's place. Uh, oh, yes. It's like a Vogue. Uh, someone is streaming the map for you, right? Yeah. Awesome. Oh, yeah. yeah, they're in uh, D17 down there. If you want to get over there, uh, it's a stealth check to get past the D19 guards. I might just follow Minip about like a little puppy, kind of bewildered at all these secret rooms that I've never seen before. <laughs> yeah okay you find your way into the garden um like, you see a garden inside the wall with like sort of the weird parallel view to the the floor have you been here before what? How yeah you know oh you know i got my choices mm. okay well what, what's his note you're scared do you friend both do anything have you already passed with bully works I mean, yeah, I got shanked by one the other day, so I'm not exactly going to hold me some more. Yeah, I mean, I can come assist you if you want. I'll give you, you know, the bones and the brains together at last. Roll me a wisdom yeah, check. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> Roll me a wisdom check, Minip. Oh, I'm good at that. Uh, that's going to be a 17, uh, 13 plus Yeah, four. okay. Uh, you, this, uh, he looked like one of the members of the other group of Bullywugs that was at the, uh, at the meet and greet. There were the two factions, the sort of professional royal looking ones, and the, uh, the freedom fighters on markedly opposite, opposite sides. So these are a different group of Bullywug. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. I don't want to corroborate with the Babylonian loyalist. But, I don't know. Okay, I guess. You don't have to. Make sure I don't get killed. I'll try. I'll try my hardest. I'll stop you from being eaten by a dragon, I'm sure I can. It is one, two, but he works. <laughs> yeah, we'll head up to the All room. Right. You make your way upstairs. Let me just... Hmm. Just have to find that area. Where? There we go. Uh, yeah, you go upstairs to room, uh, floor two, room F. It's one of the long, it's one of the ones at the very end of the hallway, one of the bigger rooms. Uh, you knock on the door? Yep. Um, it cracks open uh, just a little bit. You see an eye about five feet tall, uh, 
No, that's okay. Five feet up, you see a five foot tall person, you see their eye peek through. Um, and uh, narrows and it goes, Are you the priest? That's me. I've been uh, shamaned. Uh, the door creaks open uh, into a dimly lit room. Standing just inside the door is a jittery bullywog with a spear. And behind this guard is a wooden crate with a huddling with hunting gear piled atop it. Huddled in the back are four more bullywugs. Uh, and in the middle of the room are the three freedom fighters tied to chairs. Tension hangs heavy in the air as one of the huddled bullywugs signals you to enter and join their conversation. Uh, I, I, what do you do? I don't think kidnapping is allowed in this inn. These guests came to join us after we, uh, told a reason with them that it would be in their benefits. And yeah, you what see, benefit is that? Nick Crokin! They ain't gonna die if they're quiet. Uh, you I, see the I don't think you're supposed to threaten people's wives, man. <laughs> then you see the three freedom fighters nodding. Um, one of the uh, nicest looking ones steps forward. He seems to be wearing sort of one of those like fancy British judge wigs, uh, all piled up, uh, and he goes, uh, "I am Sir Elig von Muckstump, Baron of Downfall. I have seen that these folks have wronged you, and as potential allies, I saw it fit to win your favor in their apprehension." For you, uh, uh, to do what yes, you will. What makes us potential allies? It seems we share the same goals. Ridding downfall of our lord. I'd like to make an insight check on that. Is he bullshitting me? Uh, roll insight. Oh, be good, be good, be good, be good. Okay, that's not bad. 11 plus uh, b -b 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 7, 18. 18. Um, yeah, uh, he seems on the level. You recognize that while he looks like a royal bullywug, uh, his knights are more like haphazard mercenaries. He is not dressed in that full regal decor that the other bullywug have been described as. The other royal bully would have been described as. He seems different. I mean, clearly not good. He's kidnapped three people who don't look in a great state, but he's not with Bath Lorna, you assume. Hmm. All right. I can't. Okay, no. Okay, so you're telling me you want to get rid of the frog woman, but then you're tied up the guys who want to smash up the ponds of the frog woman so like i'm having a hard time really getting on board with this well you see their their final goals do not align their own they wish for a communal rule over downfall and i wish to place myself upon its throne it's a fundamental misunderstanding, but as they wronged you, I figured you'd appreciate the wronging of them. I even shaked that one. When? Uh, yeah, this morning. Okay, cool. we can discuss this some more in a minute. Will you let me go grab my twee? I mean, my schwab. Um, uh, of course, sir, father. Okay, give me like five minutes. Cool. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna leave the ta uh, the room. I'm gonna go straight back to the garden and park the suit. <laughs> Max, what are you doing? Are you still following Minute Brain? I'm staying there? kind of following them very closely. This is the weirdest thing he's ever. This is not his normal situation. Just kind looking like a bodyguard. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you uh, you re-enter the kitchen. Adrena is very used to your presence at this point and just lets you on through. Um, you go back to the garden and find Sue is uh, sort of just sitting there in like a recliner smoking a joint. Hey, Sue. She's down her... Huh? Uh, so those bully log in 2F, uh, they kidnapped some guys and shanked them. I don't think that's allowed in here. I thought you should know. Sure as shit ain't. All right. All right. I guess I'll deal with it. Um, you gonna join y'all in this little mission or is she able to handle it? I mean, I figured I'd invite her. All right. All right. Uh, you see she slowly starts to get up, kind of stretches out. Um, turns into a uh, little squirrel again, scampers through the walls and disappears. Very hey, Max, are you pro monarchy? See again? Are you pro monarchy? Um, not that I know of. Is... A pro, pro or part? Pro. Oh, um... No, I'm, I'm kind of on the fence. I, I'm yet to see a good argument either way. I'm just letting for someone to tell me. Wow, well, that sucks. Um, I'm not, so... <laughs> do they have a king? Do they have a, they have a monarchy? Where are you from? No, I come from a island in the middle of the ocean. We have an elder, and he just says we should probably do this, but we're mostly... I don't know, like... So of course, we should probably go check on, you know, those guys. Is, I mean, that kind of sounds like a monarchy, man. Go well, go no, he's not in charge. He's like an advisor. Oh, oh okay. That makes sense. Yeah, let's go check. Let's go check. Let's go. Don't I'm also going to grab Meep on the way there, wherever that little bastard's hanging out. Uh, yeah, you find Meep. Where's Meep? Let me just roll for where Meep's at. Um, you do not find meep on the sort of main floor or uh, kitchen area on your or first or second floor on your way up. Meep. Like, uh, roll an animal handling check. Oh, I'm good at that. Uh, gonna be a nine plus what's my animal hand? Seven, sixteen total. Uh, 16 total. You call for Meep, uh, and then you hear sort of a, a pop noise, and then a scampering noise, uh, and then beep, 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 running down hey, the hallway. Uh, uh, he's what got like a little blanket? orange blanket, orange blanket draped over him uh, that has sort of a pattern of monarch butterfly wings. You realize he was probably sleeping in the monarch suite. Ah. Hey, buddy. Um, stay close. I don't want you getting kidnapped by frog and then shank. Uh, you guys hear a large, large thud noise. Okay, I'm definitely mm -hmm. making my way to the fucking uh, room two F. Yeah. Yeah, you. Uh, as you get there, you look down the hallway. You see uh, Sue standing there with her hands on her hips, with the uh, three um, freedom fighter bully wugs sort of sitting on the ground beside her. And you see Yui holding her uh, hammer like a golf club. And she's been, like, hitting the door. Um, these large booms you hear. Uh, none of you, you guys inside wouldn't see this. Outside, you would also hear this. Uh, look out a window in Zoiga's house. Um, I had the, the inn is, like, I had it marked, but it's no longer marked. Let me just, the inn is, like, no, it won't let me draw on the... It's like right over here, basically. Sure, sure. Um, uh, yeah, you can see it out the window, Finley. You see what five bully wug fly out of the back of the inn, uh, propelled by an extreme force. Oh, do you think that's um? Do you think we need to do anything about that? Um. No. Mm. <laughs> I think it's probably just. The, uh, the part of our group doing stuff. Yeah, I mean, hopefully they keep up our their end. You know, we we'll figure if out ours. If they rejected in such force, it was probably the owner. Yeah, hopefully. 
Hopefully also, the bomb didn't go off. That would suck, right? Bombs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, her uh-huh. few, few huge thuds and like people flying out windows. Did I? Oh, shoot. I forgot to make um, one of the minis. Hold on. I just need to. You guys discuss among yourselves. Rap a rap a rap. Gumble, gumble, gumble. Yeah, no, I don't really fuck with the idea of a monarchy. Like, absolute power for one guy? Like, what are you, a god? Nah, dude. I'm... I would be chosen by God. I'm, I'm gonna be double advocate here. It could be chosen by God, so people believe monarchy is kind of... the closest thing you can get to God. Well, yeah, but I mean, then the God will say something, you know? Just through, through the monarchy. That's kind of what to believe, isn't it? That's what I, uh, from my few books I've read, that's what I've gathered. You can read? Wow. Wow, yeah, I, I can read. You're a talking no, I dog. I assume yes, someone I who read. makes such bad wife decisions was a bit less educated. I will have you know, I went to a very good school. Um, I didn't do very well, but I went there. <laughs> Pretty, pretty, Did they not teach pretty, you the basic of wife from wrong? I know the right from wrong. I'm I'm stood here defending you. I am doing right now. I go to bed. Yeah, and you're channeling the powers of a dark god thing. Yeah, that dark god's currently protecting you as well. But the, but that I'm powers... give Max a look. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, this pops all around. The good little fella. I. I... I have a feeling that's not cool, especially given where we are right now. But okay. Yes. Oh, I'll believe that we are no illusions. The kind of just pop up every now and again, very much in one place at one time, but that could be anywhere. I don't know, it's been a while. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, is there anything else you guys would like to do with the in the end with the... Uh... Baron Illig von Muckstump thoroughly ejected. I almost said ejaculated. <laughs> what? Are those guys gonna be okay? Oh yeah, I'll just uh, set him up uh, in a room, give him some some of you sort of healing biscuits. No, I meant the guys you like booted out. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, probably. And Yui goes, oh, yeah, they're fine. I just sort of blew the back wall out and then kind of just sort of expunged them from the room. Uh, They'll be fine. I don't know, a bit of a fall, but they're squishy. Yeah. Oh, I see. That's a good model, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm satisfied with that. <laughs> Um, that's that's yes. the policy for getting with the troublemakers, huh? Just bow them out, with the boy. I mean, it's effective. If they don't want, if they ain't gonna come down reasonable, we asked them, hey, can you leave? And they started some shit about, well, this is downfall and you're in downfall and blah, blah, blah. I said, all right, y'all want to be in downfall and I kicked them out. <laughs> nice. Cool. Thank you. Uh, let's get down to business, though, because I, I feel like we should probably get this ball rolling. Um. Yeah, you want to come with? I'll be more than happy to. Uh, the rest of you hanging out in Zoiga's place. Uh, you see that the outfits are almost finished now. Uh, Finley's, yours was finished first because uh, it was expressed to it was expressed to Zoiga that you would be sort of going in first. Um, Finley is now outfitted in a black dragon leather armored trench coat um, with sort of orange ac- and gold accents, the same way that Ixcartha was patterned. Uh, if you, because you can see the fucking, I can just pull it up right here. Where is it? Oh, it's called its hat. Ixcarth is not here, but you know. Uh, there's some of that orange patterning uh, 
on the back and bottom of the uh, trench coat, there's a new hat. It's a full new outfit. It's basically what Finley was wearing before, but now in black with gold accents and um, gold accents, little orange decorative bits, uh, and real dragon leather gold in the uh, hat to match with a little ornamental uh, leather headpiece crown for Wesley. Um, wow. as well as sort of like a little matching, uh, neck piece thing. Oh my goodness. Um, so Finley, you have time to start attuning to that. I'll say you're like halfway attuned to that. So you need half an hour more to attune. Um, uh, dirt crawler, yours is almost done as well. And you're like probably 10 minutes, 20 minutes attuned. I'll say 20 minutes attuned for Dirt Crawler. Dirt's in like a chair um, and he's doing the thing you... where he's like leaning back and balancing it to like not fall over. <laughs> you mean the way my dad broke all of my mom's chair? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> anyway, yeah, if you send to... Oh my god, Nico, you did the thing. That's so cool. Well, it's, not the best. it's not the best. Yeah. I like that, the detail of two weasels though. Oh my yeah. goodness. <laughs> he's got oh, yeah, two weasels. Uh, <laughs> If you'd like to send the dirt crawler art there as yeah. well, uh, Carson, you see dirt crawler is wearing a similar outfit to what he had before, but instead oh. of a Goliath's vest that was way too big for him, this is a long vest made for him. Oh. Uh, basic black chain looking armor, but made out of that heaviest dragon scale. Both of them have uh, full new outfits. Yeah. Gimp suit. What? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> they both look so cool. Um, yeah, as Still you guys are in there, scale. Finley, you're tuning. Um, you guys see sort of passing by, coming from the east, is Clapperclaw. Do, 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 do. Hey, man. Clapperclaw. Uh, should, we, uh, should we call out to him? Uh, uh, yeah. Clapperclaw. Huh? And he like kind of freezes and like looks around nervously, but then seems to recognize your voice and like starts skipping over his like uh, coin filled gourd head jangling around. Um, comes in. Oh, uh, oh, oh, hey, hey guys. Um, it's, uh, uh, you're, you're, you're already in downfall then. Yep. Hi. A bit quicker than expected. Yeah. Uh, so have you guys gotten like a, a good chance to look around yet? If not, oh, um, well, there there was an elf that was in the house before, but I think he's moved over to the mushrooms, uh, because it was sound. It was really cold over there, and usually that means he's around. The the mushrooms, the what? An elf that makes things cold. So an Aladdin. Uh, are those the blue ones? Uh, he sounds rather wintry, so I'm going to assume. Oh, yeah, he leaves, like, snowy footprints when he walks places, but there's not even any snow there. That would be an Aladdin. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, he's over by Big Barkless. Big Barkless. Uh, oh. the, the, the tree blight? Is that the, is that the big tree? Uh, mm -hmm. oh. tree. That's very, that's good to know. Oh, gosh, you guys didn't know about Big Barkless? Yeah. Not. Is there any other things do you think we don't know? Um, about downfall. Hmm. Asking for a friend. What's with the storm cloud? <laughs> oh, the storm cloud? Uh, those are some merchants. Okay. <clears throat> uh, yeah. No, they came over, and uh, their boss lady has been going to Bethlehem's all the time. I think she's there right now. I saw her walking up the stairs earlier. She's kind of like, she's taller than the other ones, and she's got long hair, and she's got, like, a kind of cool witch's hat. Uh, Finley, roll an intelligence check. Oh, that one. Ooh. Good stuff. Good stuff. Three Get no it out of the way. Um, it's over chat. We're going to die uh, here. Hmm. What else did you guys know? Um, oh, oh, uh, one of the stones isn't a stone, and you gotta be real nice to him. 
Um, I don't know if you're going over there, though. Um, I, I haven't been back inside Bath Lorna's, uh, yet, but I think she got some new letters because the, the freaky birds came back. She gets letters, I'm assuming, from her sister? Uh, from her sisters and, uh, from, like, uh, you know, like, other servants and stuff. So much of this is going over Dirt's head. Um, well, we planned. To, where were you headed? Oh, me? Uh, I was just going to go over to the, the heads because they're good listeners. The heads? Um, well, all of the past kings, all of their, their heads are still talking, uh, and they got put on spikes over by the palace. Oh. Oh, okay. That's lots of heads. Yeah, well, not all of the past kings. Just the ones that are the chattiest. Oh. Okay. Um. What, what do you. <coughs> okay, can't do that voice. It, can't yeah, do that for voice. real. I feel that. I like to imagine in character um, he's coughing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he coughs and his like fucking coins in his head rattle a bunch. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I think I had something caught in my throat. Anyway, um, yeah. the, <laughs> um, the cauldron is uh really quick. Um, but it's not a lot. The fire is interesting. That is interesting. Um. Uh, I'm trying to remember any other stuff, but I I can't really remember anything. What are you guys doing in downfall? Um, getting new I clothes. Getting get, getting new clothes. Great. Clothes. Oh, cool. Um, and dealing with some problems that we've heard around here. Oh, okay. Well, I I can help with problems. I can make toy dance. So if there's any toy problems, I can make them move. Okay, that's definitely related to Scabatha because I heard she has some boy stuff going on. That's so true. That's so true. That's so true. Do you um? Oh, I yeah. mean, I know this and sounds kind of a uh, specific and suspicious, but like, what what's kind of the 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 guard situation around here? You know, I, I I I've seen there's a few kind of like knights around on like the towers and stuff, but like, do they like normally walk around? Are they usually you know very vigilant? Or are they kind of slacking off? What's the what's the kind of what's the kind of deal with that? Um, well, when Bavlorna is asleep, they kind of are also really lazy, but they're more on attention when she's awake. Right. What, what time uh, of day is it? They don't really though? walk around a bunch. Um, it's like one o'clock ish. Okay. And you've heard she usually sleeps till about three. Right. Interesting. Um, hold on. I'm just going to roll a quick. Okay, well, um, yeah. Is there anything else you guys would like to do? Um, I would like to chat to the Freedom Fighters if they're still about. Uh, yeah, okay. The Freedom Fighters are, um, buh, 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 buh. yeah, they, they, they get set up in a room in that floor floor one uh all together they get a little room together um and holly the cat and brings them up some like little biscuits and treats and stuff okay uh first off i'm gonna make my way to the monarch suite and grab talavar hey dude you up hey so um it looks like we're about to take the fight to Bavwana. Uh, we got oh. here a little bit ahead of schedule, which is freaking me out a little, but you know, we'll, uh, we're going to keep going. Um, anyway, there's these guys that think I might have killed their buddy, this, but, you know, I buried for you. I was wondering if you could come vouch to them, cool? Uh, of course, of course. I appreciate it. Uh, I don't really want to get stabbed again. And I get a feeling we need all the help we can get going into this. 
<laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah, you, I'll take uh, Belva to, uh, to their room. Let me go grab their names again. Slump, Flop, and Winky, that's right. Uh, yeah, you go down to the room that uh, is pointed out to you for Slump, Flop, and Winky, Winky knock on the door, uh, and you hear, Come in! From uh, Slump. Hey. Um, how was your stab wound? Uh, <laughs> Flop glares at you. Yeah, it's not great, huh? I, I don't recommend it, but sometimes you can't really avoid it. Anything for this? Yeah, sounds about right. Anyway, um, you remember I said I'd bring a guy along to vouch that I didn't kill your pal? Well, here he is. Uh, yeah, Talavar uh, explains the situation. Uh, and I'm not gonna do it because the voice hurts. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, Talavar explains the situation. Um, I guess he'll have to roll a persuasion check. Oh. He rolls good. Um, it's like I'm a mad. fucking what's his modifier? It's, it's, a, it's a nineteen total. Um, you see the uh, the frogs kind of seem to relax and accept it. Uh, and Winky uh, comes forward. He's missing half of his weird frog mustache. Um, you okay. realize now that it was a real grown thing. Um, he goes uh. No, 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 Okay. Hey, I want compensation for getting stabbed. <laughs> oh, unfair, oh, unfair. You've also gotten a sort of price of mine. Uh, uh, let me see what I have. Let me see what I have. Hold on, let me see what I have. Oh, yeah, I do want to mention it. Minip is a fucking knight. <laughs> <Damn. laughs> yeah. I mean, it's worked, hasn't it? Oh, yeah. I'm not criticizing. I'm the cop. Like... <laughs> <laughs> of course, I'm gonna tattle on them. We're in the fucking end at the end of the road. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, Finley would have also tattled. <laughs> like, it was the right play. Hell yeah. All right. oh. uh, he pulls oh. out a petrified, mummified looking toad um, oh. and hands it to you. What? <laughs> Uh, okay, what's it do? It's a magical item that if you are to uh, uh, stick it in a pot of water for, for a few minutes, it'll uh, become a cloud of darkness. Nice. White. That's cool. I, and... You can just throw it in a lake, and then darkness shows up. If the mummified toad is tossed into a pot or kettle of water, it disappears and produces a darkness spell that emanates from the container and lasts ten minutes. Interesting. Does my stomach count uh, as a pot or kettle? <laughs> uh, oh, sure, oh. I'll take it, I guess. Or is all that no way for you, for you are... like, your frog guys and you're just carrying around a Little magic dead frog. Do you feel similar to your frog ducks? I mean, kinda. I wouldn't carry uh, around a magic dead duck. That would be weird. I mean, we do all sorts of things with all sorts of frogs. We ride frogs, we eat frogs, we are okay, frogs. I, I already don't like where this is going. Let's just move on. <laughs> uh yeah you get uh three bullywug allies those are three common bullywugs huge to just do send with... them somewhere and cause problems yeah yeah they're good at that i found yep go get arrested over there <laughs> um 
All right. Uh, about 20 minutes pass. Finley, you are about 10 minutes away from being attuned to your armor. Um, oh, yeah. Clapper Club is allowed to, like, just go, right? Oh, yeah. Clapper Club can leave uh, if he wants. Uh, you guys can... Uh... He was staying around in case you guys needed him, but, uh, yeah, he fucks off. Bye. Where did you, where did you put... I Into just kind of threw him across the table. I think he's in the D4 box. <laughs> I just can't see him now. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. Nope. Oh, nope. oh, I found the heads! That was pretty close. <laughs> that is true. Where? Hello, hello, Where the hello. fuck did Clapperclaw go? He died. Clapperclaw. Clapperclaw. Maybe in D1. Like, like, I put him around nope. here. I'm not seeing him in any of the. Emily, what have you done? Wait, is that him? Yep. Oh, yeah. that is him. Yep. <laughs> I knew it. I knew exactly where he was right there. It's just because I forgot to name the mini. Yeah, you see Glam Grab go over there. He's standing on the bridge with the heads. Theoretically, um, we could walk around. Yeah. You have to finish a tuning first, but yes. Yep. Uh, Idris, you are able to leave. Uh, wet, but Finley, um, you're about ten minutes left in your um, uh, uh, attunement. Stress uh, sort of pops onto your shoulder. Uh, she's sort of been like keeping really stealthy. Her stealth checks have been lower than all of your passives, except for you, Finley. But you know, um, she kind of pops up, and you hear her speak, whisper in your ear, even in weasel form. Uh, and she goes, "Hey, so, um, I kind of got it. I'm gonna change back soon." Okay. Uh, I, but can... but here we are. I was thinking. I have a bunch of good spells. Okay. Are your friends gonna be cool? Uh, I was more worried about Zoika. Oh, Zoika will be cool. Okay. <laughs> uh, then yeah, you can just pop out. Uh, yeah, you guys see, sort of in this um in this little quiet tailor shop. Uh, the stress. Stris just kind of <laughs> pops up from behind a uh Oh, you a have desk. a second weasel. What? Uh, Stris has also agreed to help. Oh. Okay. What Were you, like, hiding? Yeah. They're practicing hiding. Practicing hiding. Mm-hmm. Right. I'm, uh... Well, it sure uh, well. I mean, I didn't, I didn't notice. I'm a super spy. That's true. I mean, you were a weasel a second ago, so, I mean, you know, it kind of... From, from everything I know about weasels, that checks. They are famously super spies, yes. Yeah, I don't think Dirt has ever encountered another weasel besides Wesley. <laughs> uh, ZC Zoyga sort of pokes her head up from her work and goes, Apollo stress! Oh, you, you look good, darling! Oh, your style is coming along fabulously. Uh, Zoyga goes over, starts like circling her, uh, grabs her hands, and stress goes, it's just stress now, Zoiga. Uh, nice to see you, though. Uh, and, like, kind of bends down, hugs her. This is, like, one of the softest you've ever seen uh, stress be. Um, do, you, do you guys know uh, each other? Uh, yeah, she's my, my sister's old party member. Oh, right. I forget, um, I forget if we knew that in character, or if Dirt knew that in you character. Do. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um... Uh, Zoya goes, oh, yeah. Z no, that's not the voice, sir. Ah, yes, I've known this one since she was a little sapling. Um, uh, yeah, they, they sort of chat, and uh, Stris goes, okay, Zoya, you cannot tell my sister I was here. And Zoya goes, I didn't see you, sweetheart. Oh, um, that goes to you two as well. Like, point to each of and took <laughs> off. Oh. Uh, if right. you're cool about it, I'll cast spells on you. Good ones. I mean, we can get all the help we can. We, we need all the help we can get, so I mean, that checks out to me. Yep. Here, let me, um, she pulls out a little notepad 
that she has scribbled her spells for the day on because she's a druid and she can do that. W. Let me just oh, shoot. go get... Yeah, no, you guys um, you guys woke Stris up for this mission, meaning when I was doing her stat block, I went, oh, shit, wait, I can just, she can just set her spells for the day with this in mind. She's the only one who got to prepare her spells for this. <laughs> huge. <laughs> Ooh, huge. That's awesome. Um... Uh, so I have I have a few spells. Um, some of them are like rituals and stuff. Some of them aren't. But the one the main ones I was thinking are you can't see in the dark, right? Uh, points at um. Yeah, points I at you, cannot. Finley. I cannot know. No, can you? Uh, points at dirt crawler. Well, uh, I guess you don't really need to. You're not going in. Yeah, I'm just gonna be outside. I actually I honestly don't really know what I'm doing. I think I'm just waiting for you know the frog to show up. Of course, right, right, right. Um. So I I have a few ideas. I have walking on water, which is a ritual. So that one will take me like half an hour, but I can make it so you guys can just walk on the water. Um, nice. I can, obviously I'm going to be having to concentrate on Pass Without Trace. Um, but I can also do air bubbles so you can breathe in the water if you don't want to walk on the water, if you're worried about like falling in it. I can do dark Swimming vision on you. be incredibly dangerous. Swimming would be okay. So water walk. Yeah, I think I've seen like um, crocodiles already. I have. I'm gonna pull a bag of fairy dust. I was planning on flying over. Also good. Do you want a water walk? Uh, I mean, sure. If it's not, yeah, uh, I guess. I think you should probably just bother the culture. So, if you push it into the water, then you can walk on the water. Yeah, that I might be useful. I mean, how, 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 um, I guess we won't be really be able to see from this angle. Do I have any inkling on how high this, like, cliff face is over here by the cauldron? Like, how far above the water? Uh, no, it doesn't actually say. Let me go double yeah. check. Um, I think it says. Yeah, then I also have, like, kind of a more of a out of character question once that's. Yeah, I'll say 30, 40 feet up. Sure. The, so for water walking, if I have water walking and I fall into water from that height, am I just like instant neck broken because I just fell 40 feet onto something solid? Oh. Like, does it work like I'm that? I'm double checking that. <laughs> I think that would be true and um... funny because you can already die from falling on water. Sure, sure, sure. Like... But you know, like so for if, 40 feet. If you know. make water solid for you already. <laughs> be unfortunate. Also, how does water walking work? Can you walk on your hands water walking? Or does it only um, affect the shoes? Yeah, like if you're walking, but if you crawl, you do, your front half just sinks, you know? Uh, the spell grants the ability to move across any liquid surface, such as water, acid, mud, snow, quicksand, or lava, as if it were harmless, solid ground. Creatures crossing molten lava can still take damage from the heat. Up to 10 willing creatures within range gain the ability for the duration. Uh, if you if you target a creature submerged in liquid, the spell carries the target to the surface at a rate of sixty feet per round. Interesting. Uh, that's ten feet. So soft. yeah. Well, I guess. So you do take fall damage hitting the water. I guess dirt wouldn't really like know that, so I don't think he would have anything to like point out to say like maybe not. So I think he's down for water walking. <laughs> awesome. Um, oh, that's a ritual, so she can just pop that one off. Uh, sorry. Let me just double check. More you can only choose one ritual. Yeah. Uh, but I think that's the only one she really has. You said it's gonna um, take a while. I oh. mean do, if you're if you're going in with uh with Finley, do do you have time to do this? Um you guys have about an hour left. We have yet before to before she wakes up. I feel like taking a half, ha, eating an entire half an hour might not be worth it. I mean I don't plan on going in the okay. water at least. I can just I can just ca in that case. I could use one of my third level slots and make all of you faster. That might be nice. How long does that last? I don't know how An long hour? you guys are planning eat, on being in there. Eat is what we want, yeah. An hour? So if I eat cast all of my if I if I cast all of my spells right before I wild shape again and go off with Finley, all of you will have a, all of you will have an hour on the clock. Finley, do you think you can get I, this done before that? I think it's done an hour. I was worried you the other we will have to go quickly, and if anything, we do not want to fight her. We want to get her out of her house. Yeah, but I mean, once she's out of the house, then, you know, I assume shit's going to go down. Run back into the forest. 
I guess, but I mean, is that really solving our problem that we set out for, you know? I need 50. The signal will be when her house topples. Sure. All right. You're trying to call us a distraction, not to engage. Yeah. Cause problems. Go around. Try not to actually fight. Right. Yet. Yeah, see that yet so, that yeah. yet part? So when, <laughs> when like if if she <laughs> is just right in front of us and I can't get the fuck out of there, like uh Oh of course. Yeah. Alright, well so well, okay, actually, we're getting people yeah, out of there and then Alright. You can cause problems without starting a fight. Yeah. With it. Maybe. Because hostility and Will the worlds work like that? Where mm -hmm. if you just if you can like, Look, I'll at least be, I'll at least once, not be the, first, the first call. first person to swing the thing. All right, I'll, I can I can do that. I can make that happen. Yep. Dis mm -hmm. yeah, disengaging would be best. <laughs> also, don't forget, run with the shins. If run with the shins. Oh yes. yeah, right. Look, we we're supposed to like run around her in circles or something. Counterclockwise, uh, which is counterclockwise. Make her dizzy. Whichever direction you're facing, go left. He does like the hand, like um, left, right thing, and he nods. <laughs> yep. Um, the, uh, dark vision lasts eight hours, so Stris is gonna come over to you, Finley. Um, cast dark vision on you, so you have dark vision out to a range of sixty feet for the next eight hours. Nice. Um, it's not being sixty-five feet away. Um, and then. Uh, I have a question. Yeah. Can I have taken a short rest in between the time Idris yeah. casted Augury in now? Yeah, okay. okay. Augury is a ritual for you, so you don't need to um, actually use spell thoughts for it. Right. I for I'm also going to let you do another Augury if you'd like, um, closer to the time, uh, because the timeline got kind of stupid. Oh shit, I forgot all the okay. warnings from the Augury last time. Uh, creaking floor, um, red check mark and ink, uh, with the silhouette of a weasel. Uh, and there was another thing. There was another thing. I don't remember it either. L. Well, I need to write it down. This is such an L. Yeah. I... That's okay. You guys can do it. Uh, like I said, you can do another one because it doesn't factor in different people or spells in the equation, which means it wasn't factoring in. Uh, uh, you just didn't know about Pass Without Trace. You just didn't know about Stress. You just didn't know about Dark Vision. Yeah. So these things would have to be factored into a new casting of Augury. Slay. Let me have. Uh... And then, yeah, I, I can get all of you guys with um, uh, Long Strider. That sounds. Was Long Strider yes, do? Definitely that. Long, long Strider long. increases your movement speed by 10 feet for an hour. Nice. So I now um, have 50 uh, feet of movement? Obviously, my sister can't know, so we can't tell her little boyfriend that I'm here either. Um, uh, none of you know about Minip and Yui except for Finley. Yeah, I was gonna say like what? Oh, <laughs> oh. Finley, you're, I think Crease Minip. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> okay. Yes. Wow, he didn't even tell you. Yeah, he's oh, been oh, like dating my sister so, this whole time. It was so funny what Sue said yesterday. What did she say? He was like, um. I want some grandkids, and it was, oh, I've heard it so yeah. many times, but oh my god, they've been going out for days, and it's just... <laughs> Stress loses her mind laughing. It's been like a week! I know! <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> yeah. You're just as no offense, of on course, time. old people. They, I've, like I said, I've heard that many times from the nose yeah. right down. Oh god, yeah. You Yui gets a little crush on some passing through adventurer and mom talks for the next week about how sweet it would be to have a baby around. Jeez. Oh. 
It was so <laughs> funny. Yeah, that was really good. But yeah, no, uh, he can't know. Um, Max, I, I, I don't know. He seems cool, but also, uh, uh, you guys know about that that he worships this Bob and also that Yui does. Yeah. Yes. Uh, sure. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I just I'm just worried about that little connection. See, me and Bob are tight, but you know it's it's different. Yep. Beast of the daughter of the forest and. Yeah. 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 What is she doing? Right. You get that? That's insane. Um. Did I hear the explanation while they were in the kitchen? About like oh, yeah. uh, how a daughter of the first followers like to f like kind of fuck with and fall in love with, or how uh, these followers. Um. Uh, that was sort of a a you did overhear from through Wesley, uh, Yui saying to Idris, um, is Bob warlocks have a more positive view on daughter of the forest clerics and sort of seek to help them out and give them companionship and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, I know. I just want to make sure. Yeah. It's important for Finn like, to know things. <laughs> um so yeah you guys have stress in on the plan uh she will cast the spells right before she goes into wild shape oh she also lets you know finley um uh, once i wild shape i have two hours if i'm out of wild shape i can do it one more time or i can call callie um okay um that's another thing if things do go bad you are to leave you are to escape Okay, but, like, what if I can also help? I'd prefer if you left. A roll of persuasion check. Uh, 10 plus... My question. It's only a... Uh, uh, so, uh, 16. 16? Uh, yeah, she kind of rolls her eyes and crosses her arms, and she's like, alright, get out as fast as possible. I'm also going to be trying to do the same thing, but I'm giving you priority since pupil. Aw. Well, if it matters, if I get Calamity out, she can teleport us. <laughs> Can't do that. So in an emergency, I pop out Calamity. Calamity gets us out. That's awesome. Yeah, dude, having a little pet. Uh, and she raised her hand for a fist bump. Yep. <laughs> I wistfully think uh, back to Deathcrawler, the purple rabbit. <laughs> oh. oh <my> <laughs> um, all right. Now, this will be the section where... Uh, I will give you guys a little bit of out of character planning time among you guys. All right, we got run it back yeah. because see. a combat round is six seconds, so a lot can happen in seven combat rounds. Uh -huh. So, mm -hmm. what if we what, can what avoid getting combat into combat rounds? rounds by like stealth, throw a bomb, do some right, do some ball nonsense. The okay, crawler so... is getting attention directly on him because he's a barbarian yeah, and he's guy. allowed to thanks hey, supremacy let's go there thanks uh the barbarian has 18 ac dude now. it's so nice instead of having 15 <laughs> ac i now have 18 oh it's gonna be oh, so, that is so good oh yeah i i can share the um yes you guys are welcome to share the stats of your oh, armor yeah. oh, um yeah, Carson, uh, Carson Dirtcrawler has the more basic dragon scale mail, uh, with like one slight tweak. While Finley has a largely custom one that I made, um, and an essen. Uh, so Finley, uh, Dirtcrawler has, um, uh, 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 oh yeah, you, send, you guys are sending them to voiceless chat. You can see Finley's is there, um. Dirt Crawlers is different in that it is scale mail armor, not leather. It adds a plus one AC to a 15, so it's a 16 plus two decks. 
Oh, uh, and uh, Dirt Crawler can also sense chromatic dragons. Yeah, I was gonna say the moment the moment that he is fully tuned to that, I would like to pop that off. Just wants to see, just to just to check, just to test it out, you know. Um. Yeah. Let me roll something. Yeah. And... Oh God. <laughs> you got a temp. Oh, guys. My armor gives guys. advantage on stealth checks. That's and true. it ends yeah. up on saving throws against frightful presence and breath weapons. Yeah, amen. On dragons. High fives. And Damn. which is so cool for evasion. Yeah. So I just have advantage on <laughs> taking no damage from breath weapons at amen. level seven. Uh, amen. And that's within a mile. Uh, within thirty miles. Within thirty miles. Okay, hold on. Fucking hell, <laughs> guys! There's like thirteen fucking dragons around. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you don't sense the presence of any chromatic dragons. Guys, there's a non-chromatic dragon right behind us. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. That's fine, they're chill. <laughs> Wait, chromatic? Um... I don't think that would cover amethyst dragons, but I don't... Amethyst dragons. Yo, Yo you fit picks! Yes. But yes, uh, feel free to discuss. Uh, I will give you about 20 minutes to half an hour of out of our discussion um, time. Okay, we, okay, okay, chat, we gotta I keep this quick. I've been trying to determine where I should actually leave from because my original plan was to leave from like around there. Uh -huh. But apparently on the front of the building there's all the Lornlings that are like keeping an eye on Yeah, so that. there's Lornlings like looking over here. Yeah. This thing is... They're um, not Lornlings. Uh, oh, they are geez. specifically regular frogs on right. the balcony that will mm -hmm. scream. Right. Yeah. But they're going to scream at Dirtcrawler, and then Dirtcrawler is going to run back into the forest okay. after he pushes the cauldron. After he tries to push the cauldron. <laughs> run up, push the cauldron over, run away. I'm Too actually ding-dong yeah. ditching the big bad right now. It's crazy. You're actually ding-dong <laughs> That's insane. And then she'll get angry, come out, ideally. Oh yeah, okay, so uh, am I doing that before you sneak in, or do you sneak in, try to do your thing when she's just also in there, and then once I get a signal, then I do that? What's... Um, I think I I think I'm going to sneak like up to like the entrance, like yeah. there. And then Yeah, it's sort of a spiral like wooden a... staircase around a it's a spiral wooden staircase into the swamp water around the base of the tower into a uh, sort of hatch in the floor. Uh -huh. Okay. And then I just go through, check for traps, disarm everything. But yeah, should I, should I try to get her outside before you're in there so you have better sneaking? But then that's also potential for combat rounds and all that nonsense. So, or should um, I wait until after you're already in, wait a bit, and then go cause a ruckus? I think after I'm already in, wait a bit. Uh huh. I take a few minutes. I'll hear the alarms as well. Yeah. So I'll know to just like sit back for two minutes yeah yeah okay so, yeah so i'll do like the equivalent of holding my action for like a few minutes and unless i also hear the frogs fucking losing their minds and then i'll go out and just start doing shit there's also and yeah do we have any disagreements for the um smoke bomb placement um, uh, let me double check where they are just like those seem I fine th I... The only thing I can, I I can see happening is that um, she does come out and we start fighting, and then you can't see that that's happening because you're in the building, you know? They only last for four rounds. That's true. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, that seems Four fun. rounds could be a lot. I think so, maybe we should have one in the north just to spread it out a bit more, like maybe D12. I think instead of the cauldron one, because we're kind of expecting yeah. to be seen now. Yeah. Um, there's not really any way for them to go on the right side. Uh -huh. But there might be stuff already over there, right? Should we put? Should we put one? Oh yeah, we already are putting one right on their tower, Bullywood Tower. Yeah, definitely put one on the tower. Put one there, so we can basically block the view from D two, D one, D three. Yeah, that area. Yeah, and then so basically, once after a few minutes of you having already been in there. I go up, try to push over the cauldron, try uh, definitely not going to be a surprise combat with the cauldron, um, and then immediately run <laughs> back this way into the woods. You but did just learn from Clapper Claw. The best. cauldron moves, but is not alive. The uh -huh. fire is alive. Uh huh. Do I have a bottle of water? <laughs> oh, you have okay. the, you don't have the You have a water skin. I do have a water skin. That's true. I have a thing of water. <laughs> 
Uh, it's... It's the... Fuck. Never mind, it's just an ink bottle full of water. You have a bottle of the, um... Uh... The bubble stream water? Stream of Illusions water. Yeah. Right? Oh. No, it was the water where the... No, uh, right! Yeah. Yeah. Also, it's... Oh, it just leads to, like, run from the side of this house yeah. at this thing, and then, like, try shoving do the shove, it. It. Try no. shoving the shove it. action. Yeah. Try shoving it before oh, it can have yeah, it Yeah, before it does shit. Also, when I'm running out, or when Dark Crawler's running out, that's the same time that Idris is going to start flying around and dropping smoke bombs, right? Like, we're doing that at the same yeah. time, or is Idris doing it, like, a, a few seconds before me, you know? Just, like, make those smoke bombs show up, and then I start doing that. That sounds that seems reasonable. maybe more ideal. Yeah, yeah. I okay. think smoke bombs run up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that sounds good. Um, and then we also have Max and Minip, which yeah. I think it's better plan for them as, right now as well. And yeah, whoops. I think Max should honestly like just like put the. It would be nice if he could put the orb of gonging gonging somewhere else to cause disruption. Yeah, that so he sets up Orb like of Gonging. Once Smoke Bomb starts going off, he hits it, and then he starts booking it down here. Yep, because he can just, like... Do some, you know, cool over. badass monk shit, do some backflips, some shit over the river, yeah. and then keep running. He won't have long strider, but he's also just fast as fuck. Yeah. yeah. Boy. And then also, uh, I'm assuming yeah. Minip is also just kind of hanging out in the woods nearby over here. Maybe. I don't... I haven't thought about... Okay. All, because we don't, we don't, we're not necessarily goading for the combat with Babylonia, but if it does happen, we want to all be kind of nearby. We don't want like fifty rounds of just like one guy there, you know. Well, you know, That's he's good, good with plants. It's true. Yeah, so I think we keep him in the fourth. Yeah. He's. Okay, that sounds good. So, and then, so... Oh, he's good with. Yeah, so like the right you know, now he's, immediate he's plan. He's good with plants. <laughs> That's true, big tree. Oh shit, big tree. He can go. He can go riz up the big tree. Make the big tree uh, be chill with like getting stuff done. Is that a move? I thought it was a tree blight. Ooh. Uh, yes, but that counts as a plant, which your charm uh, plants and animals works on. Oh, okay, yeah, I'll try and riz up the tree. Should Should Minip go with Finley right now to go use this tree as kind of like in this rope, like as a way to get into the building? You know, like should he go up to the tree, and be like, "Hey, help my homie out." Then... Um, Stris is going to cast Long Strider on the three of you and then immediately turn into a weasel as soon as she sees Max, Minip, and Yui approaching. She's, like, at the window keeping lookout right. for them right now. Right. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, so we're all meeting here so... and then doing our separate, separate yeah. jams. Okay, so, yeah, we all meet here. Um, Finley goes... Wait, yeah, what, what way are you planning on getting into the house? That's what I was thinking about, because I... I don't think it, unless it's detect magic or detect invisibility things, uh -huh. but otherwise, yeah. I are we still doing invisibility? I believe so. Should we? I, I mean, I feel like that's pretty reasonable. If it lasts for an hour, do that and get into it's the It's up to Idris. That's an advantage it's on constant... Sneak. That's pretty good for this. She are, he already that. does have advantage. He already does have advantage on Sneak. Oh, yeah, because of the armor. Also, so there's advantage on people trying to attack him, though, so long as he doesn't break it. That's true. But, I mean, if they're attacking him, then, you know, the Isn't it cover's also like an blown, automatic... supposedly. It, it's advantage on Sneak, but also it's like, if people don't know to make a perception check, they're not gonna. Yeah. Yeah. Like, could I... This is the most dangerous part of the sneak. Yeah. I, I feel like because, getting... because Idris only has so few spell slots, I think it's mm -hmm. important to save them for if a combat happens. Yeah. And you did, you can do augury as yeah. a ritual. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like do an augury on like What spells his... do you have? Uh, things that I think will be useful for this fight is counter spell, pulse wave, mm. um, fucking, uh... I don't know. Yeah, no, keeping I'm a count as well. Kind of um, so. You also have, I believe, your dream last night was in the negative, so it was a, uh, you have Bane right now as well. I for, do. As a free, free yeah. casting of Bane. Um, keeping uh, in mind what, what spells are concentration and not. Mm-hmm. This building be concentration. Uh, 
I don't think I would want to cast any other spells that are concentration. It's just... Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I also have Hex. True. Yeah. W. Which yeah, would I be good for single target. Saving, saving your, your, your spells, if you already have advantage on, on, uh, stealth. on stealth. It's yeah, just I, like... Yeah. Even with advantage and plus eighteen stealth, yeah, it's, still it, like, it, it's the it's the change of what the over, actual DC but, is. Because <laughs> if you're invisible, then the DC is easier, likely. Yeah. But um, Stris goes. Keep in mind, I also have like nature magic bending to tide us as well. I have pass without trace. That's true. And yeah. So I mean. It, as foggy as enough right now that's probably how it would manifest like you know when i'm in a forest the trees get heavier and the mice right. i don't leave footprint when i'm in the fog it's probably just gonna be foggy around us are you gonna try to fucking go across like one of these ropes because if, if we if you don't have um water walking then i assume that's the the jam he has um right. pixie dust oh yes right so, right. In the flight. so i also don't necessarily need to start at the bottom yeah, yeah, you can fly like onto the roof or through. We a window can't just or... do that funny thing where we start at the top of a dungeon again. Sure, sure, easy, <laughs> simple as. There are. Uh, hold on, let me just get. Um, Finley, do you want to make a perception check to try to look out the window at the. Uh, at the at the house. Can we? Oh, can Wesley also look out the window? Wesley can also look out the window, uh, or he can give you advantage. Uh. He's giving me advantage. Yep. Uh, nat 20. Nat 20. All Zero right. Chance. Um. So from what you can see, it seems that there uh, is a... Actually, <laughs> you know what? Uh, I'm just going to do a quick thing here. Hold on. Uh, you see uh, that, yeah. Lorna, looking back. <laughs> what? Uh, what's my perception? <laughs> it's... Plus seven, so that was a thirty. Yep. Okay. Um. Uh, I love doing DC thirty checks. I thought Idris was our seer. God damn. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Loading. Whoa. Whoa. Well. Oh. Super chat. Right, let me jump. I can't to see what shadow box is getting removed. I get to do this whole thing myself, and I'm gonna blow it up. Yeah. <laughs> um, you see. It's like these different balconies. B six right. comes into view. The frog balcony you were warned about. A floor above that. Um, over to the right hand side. B fourteen. You see a balcony with several cages hanging off it, and you are able to make out a satyr sort of. Just sitting in one of these cages. It's the weed dealer. It's the weed dealer. Um, past, past that, also on the second floor, um, on the right, you see a balcony towards the back. Um, on the left-hand side, you see that balcony. On the top floor, you see that front balcony. <laughs> Go um, through that one, man. <laughs> Surely the boss isn't behind it. <laughs> He'd be asleep. <laughs> She is asleep right now, uh, as best you guys can assume. Uh -huh. um, let me she, just see what else. The, she feels like the type that would wake up, go to the balcony, and then look at what the frogs are screaming about. True. So, to hide. But the corner, that would be height. Yeah. I mean, honestly, maybe just going straight to where Seder, Seder friend is. Freeing the big reveal there, here is know. the Seder. I wasn't going to reveal yeah. the Seder, but you got a 30. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, Finley. As you look out, you see um, a row of sort of metal cages hanging off of this balcony, and inside one of them, uh, towards the very back, you can see a big goat-like leg sort of dangling down, and a small thin trail of smoke uh, rising up. Oh, it's so him. They're flunking a doink That's right insane. now, dude. Holy. Okay, I have two Featherfall tokens, so I'm probably going to give them one. Open the cage, give a Featherfall token. Run. Yeah, that <laughs> seems right. But you also want to place a bomb in the building, right? You want to make sure there's no like people still in the building? Exactly. That's yeah. the idea. So then you yeah, go in from the there. 
Yeah. I, I need to get rid of all the hostages. So I think um, yeah, going in from there. Uh huh. Yeah. And then fucking we do Mission Impossible arc. So yeah, uh, I will let you guys know in the future when I am switching between maps to uh -huh. allow you guys to take any relevant screenshots that you might like. Right. But for this for this session, we will be switching between these two maps just because it's easier to fit them on yeah, two separate different, boards. Different things. Ooh. Objects. Um. So yeah, we're gonna switch back to the main map now. If you want to take any screenshots. You have time nope. because I have I to do the whole same thing. What's screenshotting? But I think everyone should read what it says on the board. But it says silvery bugs. <laughs> that's so true. That's so we true. should keep silvery bugs in mind. That's a good idea. Yeah. All right, and now we. Wow. I like how it slowly inflates, just like Sonic. What? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I've seen that one. What do you mean by that, chat? Do you know I, that... Uh, I think you all know what I mean. I, mean. I don't think I want to know what you mean. <laughs> oh. oh, God. It's taking everything in me to not dive down a stupid rabbit hole right now. We're going back to D&D. &D. Guys, do you yeah. think I'm um, being recorded. You see, you, see how I, you see how I drew a, a face on the pot? Do you think if I got the magic paintbrush and drew that face, it would get a face? You know? Yes. <laughs> but it would also probably be legs at you. I can't wait to fucking be wrestling a giant spider cauldron in a few minutes, anyways. Or I, next session. So probably. yes, any any other uh, out of out of character planning? Um, so from the top, Finley. Make it drop. Fin so true. High five. Fin Finley is gonna Finley's gonna sneak <laughs> Finley around. Can just fly in like any direction, but it's yeah. Like, yeah. F fly in any direction try i would say like try to like sneak around these ah, it's just this tree you probably want to wrap around the right side so you don't alert the frogs you have to yeah i the think I'm i can oh, there's water there though water what do you mean he's flying he's flying he has a uh, the pet oh, right, right, right. he has one minute of flight you can go sneaky 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 up in there and then let's say let's um, say do we want to say five minutes what what's our we should we should decide on like kind of an uh, uh an about time for when idris takes off and starts dropping bombs it's a big I, building it can also be a visual cue that's true do you think you can reliably like, like somehow alert us area. when the time um, should be right yeah there's windows all over the front of the house especially on the second floor uh -huh. um um yeah so i'm going to start on the second floor yeah sorry yeah. Like, fuck, if only I took a screenshot of that map to look where the windows are. Finley, uh, what are your cantrips again? My cantrips are... Shock and Grasp, Minor Illusion, Mage Hand, and Light. So I can... Yeah. I can do yeah. so many signals to like Signal light through a window or something, yeah. yeah. I think all of those could actually be used <laughs> for, for a signal. <laughs> Every yes. single one of those could be used for a signal. Interesting. This okay. is huge. So yeah, if you, if you if you feel like you can you can determine a good time for a signal, that's probably better than just a, a random time. So when that happens, and then Idris will will start flying around dropping smoke bombs, and once there's a good amount of them around, or at least the ones on here and to the right, like immediately around this area, dirt will run up, try to knock the cauldron <laughs> into the water, <laughs> um, and then start yeah. booking it back. At this point, um, during that time, also when these smoke bombs are being dropped. Max will be out here, set up the gong, set it off, and then also just try booking it back down here. And we're all going to sort of commune in this, or congregate in this uh, forest area um, when, after all our separate tasks are done, and sort of just wait it out and see what the fuck happens for when this building blows <laughs> up. Hopefully soon after that. If Bavlarna shows up, we try trolling her and not actually fighting, but just like any, <laughs> anything else. While trying to stick together, try not to scatter, but also we don't necessarily want to hit her head on unless we have to. Oh my god, this is where the minute bomb could have come into play. We push a cauldron in, say sorry, here's a gift for recompense, and we just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, man, a minute for bomb. I finally <laughs> figured it out. <laughs> the plan. You also have. You also have someone who can animate toys and toy looking things. That's true. Oh my god. But we don't we don't have the minute. Oh replica. looks like a toy. We don't <laughs> have the minute. The minute looks like yes. a toy, yes. He looks like a plush. He's been compared to one. <laughs> what, what's up? Yeah. Minute? We don't have um, the minute bomb though. Nope. We just have the excarfa bomb. 
You have the Excartha bomb and you have the Shatter bomb. Uh, and you have the Smoke bomb. So you guys have a lot of. MJ, what were you I saying? Love, I love this part. Okay, I have multiple questions. First uh -huh. of all, if we're oh, going yes. to kill Bev Lorna right now, uh -huh. then what? We're just blowing up her house? Like, what's. I feel end? like we should well, try to kill her. Depends on how she has gone. What power does she have? Uh, oh, big hag. The power hag. But we should. Yeah, we should. Okay, maybe maybe instead the then the plan is. In the middle of. She doesn't have any dungeon or layer thing. So <laughs> yeah. I'm okay. trying to That's get her on neutral ground. Yeah, okay, not, okay. Not necessarily favorable. So the I moment don't want her to have the moment her house has exploded, we can stop trolling and start like going for the throat, right? Yeah. And start like I'm going to. Yeah. But okay, wait. Do we want to still reconvene in this area? I so think that yeah. We're not, like in the middle of everything, and then people can like come from. I think in this area you'll have the opportunity to just do stealth and hide. Yeah, because because uh -huh. after after also, all our trolling, the bomb the house hasn't exploded yet, and about the time we're here, supposedly sometime <laughs> soon after that, her house will fucking explode. If we encounter her before the house explodes, then we do trolling, but. If her house explodes, then I think we can slowly venture out, or at least like look and play it by ear and see if she's out here. Because uh -huh. hopefully the gong and hopefully all the smoke bombs has alerted her outside by this by this point. Also, this I have two bags of fairy dust, so I can also fly back. Fly wow, well. yeah, yeah. Slay. Thank you. What is this oh. X here? Uh, that's one of the smoke bombs. Smoke bomb okay, so there are only three on the map right now, right? Only oh, yeah. three on the map right now. I'm going to let you guys. I think I we just should think do those should be the initial ones. Then you can decide what to do after. I think we should do one um, where Max is going to okay. place up the gun. Yeah, I agree. I so agree. he has advantage, or he has a way of getting out. Not advantages in a mechanical sense, but oh, in a general shit, like. Oh shit! That's so smart. Put, put the, a sm yeah. gong in the smoke bomb, yeah, so yeah, then they're like, yeah, "What the fuck?" Yeah. And they're just wandering through smoke while Max is just booking it out of there. Yeah. And it lasts um, for ten turns. The invis or the darkness spell. What's ten minutes? 10 minutes. 10 minutes because i think putting those minutes. two things together where it's like the orb of garning and the darkness spell that can be nice that is annoying do you have a thing of water yeah should we well, put the uh, should we put the the gong like right against this river here and then put the frog like right in the water near it so then it's like warm big darkness thing you know it specified exactly what it needed to be in so i don't know if that would work Ooh. it's a pot or kettle Ooh. There's Actually, only one potter kettle, again? but I don't want it to be invisible. Oh, <laughs> if, only, if only there was someone who had a kitchen. Oh, that's oh. true. The orb of gonging is an item that projects a very loud noise every six seconds in a radius of like 300 feet. Okay, got it. Thank you. Um, Zoiga lets you guys know that her house is protected and abjured. Um, she will not be aiding in the fight, and she will not be a refuge for anybody but stress. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's chill. Cool. <laughs> yeah, we're just discussing this in front of him. Though. He's chill. Given us fine clothing, we don't expect Okay, any more. do we have any more questions? So we, okay, wait, yeah, we want yeah, to do... Yeah, okay, so this tree. Yeah. My charm only lasts a minute. Yeah, I think, I think that... Yep. Unless you want to just, like, hate... Oh, you have two uses! Exactly. So I get a maximum of two minutes with this tree chilling out with us. That's a that's a big question. Who the fuck is it like what like when will we need to have this tree charmed? Like at the I mean, beginning oh, when, when Finley's considering sneaking it's over a tree here, blight, I think it's safe to say that it's like gonna be mean. you know, gonna be pro Lona aligned against us. Yeah. So and it's CS seven, so but shut up, Metagama. My bad. <laughs> We'll have a go. But yeah. we're like we're like over here, right? Like I think the only time we go nearby is when Finley's trying to sneak around, right? I I think right. So, yeah. but if if Stris is with Finley, oh, but Stris is an animal form. I was gonna say Stris can maybe like cast the whatever like be chill plant thing because they're the plant person, right? <laughs> a barbarian talking about a caster right now. By the way, <laughs> cast chill. Cast fucking take it easy, man. <laughs> uh, Stris does have that capabilities, but yeah, she's going yeah. to be a weasel and also concentrating on Pass Without Trace. Yeah. yeah. So, Minip, do you want to venture over here and try to be chill with the tree when Finley's going through? I mean, I feel like that's so risky. You know? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I can put smoke bombs around there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just drop a fucking smoke bomb right here. Bam. That's, I can't I, see that's originally what I had, two of the Oh, smoke but no, bombs. but wait. Yeah. Finley's sneaking before the smoke bombs go off, is the issue. Yeah. That I and I just don't. Sorry, think... just. Sorry, continue. 
I also noticed this the two votes attached uh -huh. to the power yes. and the um, tree. And there's also one attached to the, uh, I was going to say, I want to reward your 30 perception check more. So yeah, you do notice that there are four different ropes holding it up. One to a sort of burning factory place, one to a sort of palatial mansion place, uh, one to a watchtower, and one does, to big barkless. Does anyone here have um, Firebolt? And can we just knock down the four supporting fucking strings and, uh, you know. I, I was thinking, I... Bolt. Bolt. Like, see, if the bomb doesn't work, I'll have a minute of flight and a knife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 actually. All right, I'm done with that. That sounds good. <laughs> and you can dash as a bonus action. That's all we need. All we need as, as a, to, to kill the big boss is flight for a minute and a knife. <laughs> I think she's also going to be pretty upset when her house fucking explodes. <laughs> that, yeah, yeah, might be not so chill. Maybe a bit. I think do we have most of our things sorted? What else? Okay, we need we have two more smoke bombs. I feel like oh. put, putting one over by the the tree is also probably going to be smart. Maybe. Yeah. Um Yeah, you heard one of the stones is not a stone. You can sort of assume that that might be about the only stone way. Um oh, you uh with that other perception check Finley, you see the bully wug on the lily pads and you get the impression that some of the larger lily pads could actually support the weight of people. Um, let's see. Um, you see also from that perception check, it kind of sounds like there's a deep croaking noise, not from a not from a humanoid but from an animal in uh the house just across the way from Zoika's. Mm. should we move uh this smoke bomb to be right in front of this doorway you think there's already a fog there that's a fog that's like right. a fog of war, I don't um think. do you oh, think really? oh idris that's do you, do you hiding want to... the interior of the house because you guys hear something in the house but i don't want yeah. you to know what it is i oh, think I that we should okay two things we should move this smoke bomb to be right in front of this doorway i think and then also i think idris should save one of the smoke bombs for mid combat if needed so we have five spots right now yeah no you and then i save think six. keeping if you get into a fight with that yeah, we'll so we can dip throwing out. a smoke bomb at her feet yeah not doing any damage and then running away and hiding yeah. um yeah. Keep in mind, Max can throw a smoke bomb at double the distance of the rest of you. That's true. Maybe we, yeah, we just toss the last mm. one to Max. Let him yeah, hold sure. on to it. All of you you just does like an S, right? Max. And then Max has two smoke bombs to just use as he yeah, wants. Yeah, Idris, Idris can drop it from anywhere. Minip can't airdrop because he doesn't have hands. Yeah. <laughs> what if I grab it with my feet? He's got duck feet. No. Duck feetsies. No, because no. no, you need to like, light seven. them. I heard someone say give two smoke bombs to Max. There are five smoke bombs on the map right now, so it would just be one. Was um, yeah, that's yeah. not a smoke bomb. That's the um. Oh, the, well, I thought we were going to be putting a smoke bomb on top of the gong, which makes it harder for these guys. Okay. To, like, we're doing a darkness thing. We were going to do the darkness. Also, you guys have five okay. minutes of real life discussion uh -huh. before we. I'm getting the uh -huh. ball rolling. Uh -huh. Okay, so this fucking tree. You know. uh, am I just like pacifying it so Finley can get in without any trouble? Because that's probably gonna. I don't you know, know if we should because you're pretty easy to see. I don't know like if you can do that. I think that. if the tree shows up, then you should try to charm it. I don't think we should go out of our way to do it. Yeah. Okay. I think yeah. that makes the most sense yeah, because I think generally we should try to keep this bottom left chunk of land as uh -huh. a zone of control like yeah. this is what we're going to try to be max goes a bit farther because he has a speed advantage yeah he's gonna do his gong you see a, in the background a bullywug leaps off a lily pad goes along the uh rope so the ropes are also able to support weight very cool very cool it's the tent yeah i would otherwise besides the flying thing i would suggest trying to go to the string climbing across but I, because of this and then minip i think it's just safer to try to sneaky fly around it's just yes yeah, sneaky fly around with a plus 18 yeah or oh, 16 still yeah. okay do we do anybody have any questions uh no. i have stuff to is do there any items yeah. i'm forgetting 
Okay. Finley, Finley flying, sneak in, do a thing on his signal. Uh, Idris will fly around and drop uh, five smoke bombs. And... Oh, yeah. What's the signal? Um, I'm, I'll am i point. Like, there's going to be a fucking... One sec, wait, is he going to cast, like, light or uh, which minor illusion? If you, you are able to cast a uh, minor illusion, like, through the window and, like, do it on the balcony or, like, uh, just outside of the balcony in the air... <laughs> He yes. can do a big, big uh, 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 Wesley like dancing. <laughs> Bro. The gritty, and then we'll be like, okay. Or, yeah. or just more something more subtle, like light spell through the window, yeah. just kind of fluttered through your yeah. fingers. Yeah. So then you'll be the... one, like, I'll point out the window. It's like, uh, so there's the cages where I said I'm going to start. Uh-huh. Big room, hallway, oh. or is that like an outside walkway? What bottom, is sorry? Oh, second um, floor. on the second floor. What are we, floor. What are we looking floor, at? Second floor, south side. Um, oh, okay. you have a. I'm looking at those. Thing. Okay, uh, in the in the very like along that center strip there, there's that bottom hallway and there's that middle hallway. Those were just sort of awkwardly shaped hallways that were too tricky to fair, cover with fair. the limited space of uh, the uh, yeah, yeah fog of war. So those are internal hallways that I don't feel sure. need I need to, to hide. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, all of the balconies have sort of the rounded edges. Yeah. Look, okay. Look at. I'll just like. There's two windows pointing at us from the second floor. If you see a flash of light, dot the party. Gotcha. Okay. Also, we're all starting here. Um, except Max should start just kind of hiding in the woods, sort of off screen over here, for when the sm- I'm giving Max the mummified darkness frog, right? We're giving the mummified darkness frog and a kettle. Um. Yeah. And he can just. Light it with fireball if it needs to be. Um, Please. if yeah, because you guys, since you guys need to communicate with the inn, and Max will probably need to go from where the inn is over here to get to where you guys are. That's true. Is one of you going to go back to the inn to tell the other party members what's happening? To also Good. give Probably. stress. I yeah, Idris has good stealth yeah, and should you flight. Just fly over in there and fill them in. Yeah. Okay. All right. So Idris goes over. Idris is with Max. Minute. Let me just get uh, Max and Minip out. I don't know if you guys can access the saved thing, but uh, don't. Yeah, I don't think we can. <laughs> aye, aye, Kevin. Awesome. <laughs> uh, I will. <laughs> Let me just. Sorry. <laughs> it's giant. <laughs> giant Minip. <laughs> All right. Um, you guys are there. Um. So you're filled in on the plan. Idris, uh, right before you go, Stris is going to cast Long Strider on you. So your speed is faster um, for uh, 10, for, sorry, for an hour. You have 10 more feet of movement speed for an hour, um, which puts you at 45, I believe. Yes, sir. Also, uh, um, before I leave the, the Zoika's place, I would also like to cast Augury the second time. Yes, uh, of course. Um, uh, hold on, let me just mark off this spell for stress. And there was sorry, there was one more thing I had to 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 say. Oh, the yeah. rule of ownership is weaker oh, wow. in yeah, right in Heather. What? Uh, the rule of ownership is tricky because all the hags consider everything in the domain to be theirs. Yeah. But does the domain consider everything in the domain to be theirs? Hmm. That's a good question. Mm. Well, I don't, so. All right, yes. <laughs> uh, you yeah. can cast Augury. Yes. Uh, yeah. Is is the question, like, is this heist going to go well too vague? Um, Are we cooked? <laughs> you receive an omen from an otherworldly entity about the results of a specific course of action that you plan to take within the next 30 minutes. Um, so I would assume that you are laying out the, specifically the Finley sneaks in, frees people, uh, gives you guys the sign. Is that, or was that what you're going for? Or are you going for a more broad Finley sneaks in and then we start playing smoke bombs? What do you guys think? My fellow party what members. What does Idris think? <laughs> what does Idris want to know? Idris cool. thinks... Uh, well, I'm I am more curious and doubtful about how the smoke bombing is gonna go. <laughs> honestly, the same. The same. like I'm pretty confident in Finley, but that's maybe because I'm a f- Finley. 
<laughs> oh, surely a small one would be fine. They're simpler. Yeah, I'll do a more specifically, like, how's Finley's mission gonna go sneaking in? Okay. This of remaining undetected and setting off the bomb successfully. Yeah. Okay. Um, roll me a d20. Yes, sir. I know that's not part of the spell, but yeah, roll me a d20. 13. 13. Okay. Um... Idris, you pull out your crystal ball once again. Um, this time, you feel conf while you feel confident in the results, you feel unsure in their positivity. It's not, it's not whoa, it's not negative, but it's both real and whoa. Mm -hmm. There's sense. possibility for bad but also possibility for great good. Um, you see, again, uh, that there's a, a weasel um, standing over red ink. You see the word PRISM in red ink, full caps. Um, and this time you recognize that the weasel is Stris, um, not Wesley. Um, you see a uh, black boot go through a moldy stair as uh, the sound of buzzing intensifies. Yep. Um, and you see the silhouette of a fem female form with a witch hat. Casting spells. Roll me an arcana check. Okay. Uh -oh. With advantage. Oh, thank god. Oh, it was worse the second time. <laughs> oh, no. oh no. I got a nine. A nine. Um, it seems like familiar magic, but you can't quite place it. Okay. Um, but it feels like this is perhaps on the woe, uh, on the wheel side of things, not woe. Okay, okay. Wheel being positive. Guys, there's um, another uh, the follower of the. Uh, 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 my mom! Yeah! Huh? Yeah. Huh? Lola? Huh? <laughs> Lord yeah. Rob, you just Lord Rob. Just Um. So, yeah, you. Uh, it's more mixed results this time, but also more clear visions. Okay. Yeah. Yay! Also, one funny thing. When the DM does Sasha prep. <laughs> I would also like yeah. to use my new Eldritch Invocation and cast Mage Armor. Yes! Uh, is there a particular way that your Mage Armor looks? Yes! Uh, the edges of Idris's feathers take on like a lighter color and then slightly shimmery effect, mostly concentrated around the larger feathers, like the ones on her back. Or wings or tail. Uh -huh. Yeah. She has a Ooh. tail? She does have a tail. <laughs> She's she a tail. I guess so, yeah. Um <laughs> Yeah, you have your uh your armor of prisms up. Um yes. there is your AC. Uh Finley and Dirt Crawler, you are both attuned to your items. Oh yeah. Um I do and dragon sense and then see no dragon. You do Ooh. dragon sense and there's nothing around. Swag. Zoiga kicks you all out of her house. <laughs> um, I also share with everyone the augury results. Yeah. That's it. Yes. Uh, Finley, you share yeah, with everyone the, the augury. Stairs. <laughs> stairs. What was that prism one? Um, I, it was the same one as before of... But, but more defined, more clear. Before it was a weasel, though she couldn't tell who, uh, sort of on some red ink with some check marks. This time it was on something with red ink spelling out the word PRISM in all caps. Um, and it was clearly Stris and not oh, Wesley. Why did you do that? Back by Arca. And then I can... And then Zoika's going to do a quick... Hold on, let me just... 
Uh, you guys see like a shimmery. That's not the right color. Mid it. Um, <laughs> yeah, you guys see a sort of shimmery light blue circle appears around Zoiga's house <laughs> as she pets up sort of like an abjurative field. Um, <laughs> don't, don't, don't. How do you lock them together? I was trying to figure out how to do that and I couldn't. I was also that. just trying to figure out how to do that. You, you. You can drag on the map, and a square will appear, and then you just. Oh, collect. okay. It's just all. It's the multi-select thing. But before yeah. it was like Finley and the Wesley sprite were like actually physically stuck together when I loaded in earlier. It was there wild. is a, if you right anyway, click, um, there's a thing I think. You can also. Oh, actually, this is probably not your question, but if you highlight multiple things and then click and hold and then shake them around, it'll <laughs> clump them all together. Yeah, I like doing that. The shuffle. Yeah. Um, yeah, so there's uh, it's, it's popping off now. Uh, we're going it. to start with Finley. Um, yep. Stris is going to cast her final spell. She's going to cast Long Strider on you, increasing your speed by ten feet, and Dirt Crawler, uh, increasing his speed by ten feet, uh, as well as on herself because she was told to get out of dodge if need be. Um, yep. Why? So her speed is up by ten feet. Uh, that's all of her first level spells, one of her second level spells. Um, oh, before she turn, before she wild shapes, uh, she also casts good berry three times, uh, hands you 30 good berries, and <laughs> turns into a weasel. That oh is God. fucking brilliant. These are great berries. Holy shit. Wesley can feed them to people. Um, yes, and I believe we determined that Wesley can uh, feed up to four at a time. <laughs> Whoa! Cool. Isn't it one d four? No, they're one. they're one health each. Um, okay. okay. So this is a pool of thirty HP uh, divided among the two of you. Um, actually, she would also she would do this before Idris left. So Idris would be given ten. Dirt Crawler would be given ten. Finley would be given ten. You guys can yeah. divvy them up however you like. Um. Uh, I'll keep one, uh, but I'll, honestly, I'll give the rest to uh to to Finley. And also Wesley, you know, because I feel like ha right, yeah. having them in Wesley's possession might be more useful. You just want like that last moment and you need to eat one berry to feel good again. <laughs> I mean, I, one I, berry I, I can want... be the difference between life and death yeah. if somebody is down. I want one berry exactly. so if there's somebody down near me and nobody else can get to them, I still can help them, you know. That's really smart. Yeah, so I'm keeping one. Let me keep two. <laughs> keep That's a two. really smart. That's um, a really so those smart are... realization of Wesley too. Holy shit. Yeah. I can just yes. set him around. Picking people up. Yeah. Um, and yeah, because Stris is a dryad. That's just a racial ability for her. That's not any of her slots. Nice. Um, we love good very racial abilities in this house. All right. So um, it's time. Only time. You have, uh, you got I believe, Pass Without Trace is only, I think, 10 minutes. It's an hour. It's an hour? Okay. An hour. Pass Without Trace. Concentration up to one hour. Awesome, awesome. And yeah, she can be keeping her concentration on that. Um, right. And that's also a racial, uh, so she still has two lo second level slots and two third level slots. And she can then just cast it again if need be. Cast it again if need be, but she would have to leave wild shape and then either go back into her second wild shape or stay in her main form and summon calamity if she wants to teleport. Can't be tracked except by magical means. Except by magical means. I thought it can't be tracked by magical means. Uh, uh, yeah, it's time for All right. stealth check. It's time uh, for stealth check, Finley. I eat a fairy dust and go up to that place. You eat the fairy dust? You don't sprinkle it on yourself? Oh, I guess I guess I could do that, too. He's eating the fairy <laughs> dust. <laughs> yeah, you put some fairy dust on your tongue, and then you, like, kind of cough, and your tongue goes slightly numb. Um, <laughs> and you guys see that some of Finley's hair starts to, like float and levitate a little bit even though the rest of him doesn't uh then you kind of get the clue to spring put on yourself yeah how does it taste because uh it tastes like um yeah. that yeah. feeling of the feeling of taking fresh clothes out of the dryer interesting all right stealth time stealth time I'm... yes please, advantage only... in a plus 16 Advantage in a plus 16. All right, that's uh, a 17, and that is a 12, so that is a 33. Nice. Mine, mine. Yeah, um, 
you fly through. Which balcony are you going to? Ooh, the one with the uh, Seda. The one with the Seda. You're going to the caged one. So you are here. Uh, just for reference, we are going to leave them here because this is like the exact shape of the thing. Um, so we're just going to leave you there because that's where you entered. Mm-hmm. Um, now I'm going to copy these. Save and load. I'm going to put everybody where yeah, wait, they I just are. Realized something can... this he's going to go to. Hmm? That's just cliff edge and a fucking... Yui also can function like um, Idris in that she can drop the bombs from Ariel. But you also know she's more of a martial combatant type, uh, and she's also got some sneakery stuff going on. Yep. Um, as well as spells like Magic Circle, which can trap or repel certain types of creatures. Um, would the Seidu even notice me? Mm, no. <laughs> Hold on, I will... I That's will... fine and works for me. <laughs> like... I, I realize now it might not be the best thing to just instantly free someone. Yeah, you might want to go. Hey. <laughs> hey okay. Um, oops, I forgot to save it that I revealed B14. One sec. Delete. And then delete. All right. You get that done with the crit. <laughs> and then I can help my paste you. God damn it. Okay, I just have to grab the objects again. Um, sorry, let me just grab. Oh. oh no, did he go into the. Yeah, there might be a second Finley in the fog of war. <laughs> Huge. Two that Finley's is such a cool encounter. <laughs> um, and then we got the Wesley. And then we got the Strisley. Hey Nico? Yeah. Two You've got this cool thing called silvery barbs. <laughs> That's true. Oh. That's true. Nice. When should I use it? Uh, I'm not really sure. I'll just keep it in mind, you know? Um, Finley, you land on this balcony. Oh, I think that's my bad. I locked it. Oh, nice. I was hoping that it would lock them together, but it did not. No, I think you still locked Wesley. Yeah, I'm going to have to undo that. Stress. Yeah. Sometimes I think about the second Wesley on his hat in the image. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. Yeah, you land behind, beside this Seder. Let me uh, pull up the thing. Now, the oh. second weasel on his hat is actually stressed now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the other the, the other mini there is just to represent. It's always been like, stressed. They've been keeping the secret for a lot longer than we know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> da, da, da. Uh, yeah, three large iron cages hang from wooden beams that extend out from the balcony over the lake below. Trapped inside one of the cages is a chill, smiling, shirtless satyr um, who, like, sort of is just finishing off a joint as you get there, uh, flicks it off into the lake, um, reaches into his big curly hair behind one of his ears, pulls out a second joint, lights it with magic, and keeps going. All right, I'm going to unlock his cage. Oh. You're not gonna say anything. Did you go into the? I did. Uh, <laughs> There's a third. All right. A third. Um... <laughs> it's fine. You're going in there next anyway. Yeah. I'm sure. Yep. Uh, uh, oh, oh wait. Check for traps first. Check for traps for you. Yeah, roll an investigation check. I'm giving a very, very. I'm also trying to do a quiet, like, play by play on what I'm doing for stress, just as I'm checking for traps. <laughs> Yeah, you have a Wesley in one pocket that uh, Zoiga um, silk lined one of the pockets with gold for Wesley. Um, and Aww. there's also just a second pocket that Stris is in. Um, she didn't know Stris would be there. Honestly, she would have done it if she did. Uh, but yeah, you have the weasels in your pockets. Uh, roll an investigation check. Uh, Wesley, help. Yep. 
That's a nat 20. Oh, I got a 4 and a 20. Whoa. Oh, I got oh, a 4 and a 20 rescuing oh, this fucking guy. Oh my god, you got a 4 and a 20 <laughs> rescuing. That's, That's great. Do I get grace? No, never. <laughs> no, you can't. No, never. Um, Max soon. Since that's in here somehow. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you, uh, you find that it is untrapped. No, oh, right. and then I'm gonna unlock it. Yeah, roll me a sleight of hand. Also with advantage, because Wesley. Ooh, that is a 9 plus 9, 18. 18, yeah, you get, uh, you pop the cage open, and then in doing so, the satyr finally notices you, uh, and he goes, uh, Oh, hey, dude! Oh, thanks for letting me out, man. It is, like, so cool to see a friendly face. I... I'm gonna just, like, hand my feather fall token. This, this, this will slow huh? your fall. This will slow your fall. You're free to go. But... He just kind of looks down into the water, and he goes, Oh. Yeah, dude, sorry. I can't just jump into that, man. I, I why did I think slow fall would work like you can go a distance? Nope, it's just feather fall. You go straight down. Yeah. All right, bro. Uh, he looks down. He's like, "Nah, dude, not with that like freak ass gator back." Well. Also, I, I kind of need my stash. Is hi, I'm Vansel, by the way. Uh, and he like sticks his hand out. Um. Also, he, he sticks his hand out for a handshake with one hand, and also the joint out to pass it. Inly, I reach out for both, I guess. <laughs> On the yeah, job? Yeah. Damn. Do you smoke it? Just... Okay, here. Stay in the cage, I guess. Um, I'll be back. Uh, okay, uh, wait, I need, like, my shit, though. I'll get it. Then I can go. Uh, I got like, so I'm like a druid, so I could just fly away. But I need my shit. So if you could get that, it'd be cool. I will. Oh fucking bollocks! I forgot something um, important. I've met your friends. I assume I know who you are. They asked me to rescue you. Yeah, you know the name Vansel. They did ask you to rescue him by name. Oh, cool. Which ones? I got a lot of friends, man. Um. I say their names. I don't know. Rosie, Sweet Breeze, and Harlan. Rosie, uh, Harlan. Any... Rosie, Sweet Breeze, and Harlan. Oh, sweet. Yeah, I'm almost late on their delivery, dude. Oh, shit. Then I gotta get to the doctor. The what? Oh, yeah, man. Um, uh, cool, if sweet. To, if, since you can leave any time, if you want to just wait here, smoke another. I'll I think be... I will. <laughs> Uh, hey, wait, thanks for getting me out. I got something for you. Is uh, there's rules of reciprocity here, yeah? Yep. Um, yeah, he uh reaches into his hair. He's got like a bunch of sort of flowers and stuff tucked into his hair. Uh, and he pulls out a little blue bell that has a proper the properties of the stone of luck for the next 24 hours. You can add a plus one to all ability checks and saving throws. Wow, that's huge. Yes. Just a plus one to everything. 24 hours. Um, okay. May have the Featherfall token back for someone who may need it. Yeah, of course, bro. Uh, he kind of, like, flips it over at you. Um, he takes out a second joint and lights it, realizes that he still has the other one in the other hand, just kind of double barrels them together. Um... And he just kind of sits back in the cage that he was in, but now he, like, stretches out. He's chilling. He's fine. Yeah, okay. Um, oh, oh, there's a bitch inside. There's many, and you must say her name. Oh, it's, oh no, uh, the... Oh, oh, shit, I can't say her name. It's, like, part of what she is. She's a... a, a, a blood cap. Oh. What the fuck was that? Okay. Next. I thought, okay, that's good to know. I'll get by it. Thank you. Is there anything else you know? Well, yeah. Uh, um, I don't know. 
when I need my sh uh my shit's like some weed and also like a ro like a roach clip. It's like a it's like kind of like a jeweled wand, but like instead of like it just like holds my truck. Um, time to go into the next room all stealthy like. Yeah. Uh, the kitchen. The kitchen. Reaches. Lock of four. Delete B13. Oh, no, it's okay, Isaac. Um, uh, yeah, you walk into the kitchen. In this gore-spattered kitchen, a stout figure with a stained apron, iron boots, a crimson cap, and a bloody meat cleaver chases a pair of what were probably once vultures around a butcher's block while the squawking birds fight over a scrap of meat. Uh, she is looking in the opposite direction of you. Oh, shit, there's the second. <laughs> All right, um, can I move around the room just avoiding eyesight? Uh, yeah, you can absolutely try. The birds are going to make... Um, while I'm... Check. While uh, I do Make another a... stealth check. Make another stealth check. Yep. Uh, 12 plus 16. 20. Uh, yeah, no, it's the uh, birds are too focused on the meat. The lady's too focused on the birds. This is the uh, woman that was seen, I believe, in your vision, actually. Um, in this room, there is a hallway straight down ahead to, um... Oh. Hmm? Sorry, the red cap oh, is, like, is that... I feel like it's AI-generated. I just Googled yeah. woman red cap. Yeah. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I don't care. Um... Yeah. Uh, well, I also just want to look for any of the lost things on my list. I'll, yes. Like... Um, yeah, make a perception check in this room. No help. Okay, that's fair. That is a plus seven. Plus seven. Plus seven. It is a seventeen. Um. Okay. Yeah, there's a very cold chill coming from. Uh, how do you guys do that little pointer thingy? Uh, I do the line and then. You can just kind of click. Huh. Line? Line. Oh, oh, if you do line and you just like click once it... Oh. No, oh. not that button. What? Line. On the side option. Yeah, it's, it's, it's weird. It oh, doesn't seem line. like it's going to do it, but then it does it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, this door up here, um, is there's sort of a cold chill emanating from behind it. Um, th mm. and then from this room, uh, you hear the sounds of soft speaking. Um, this room? Uh, no, this, this room is, uh, cold chill. This room is soft speaking. Um, and let's look at on the floor and look under the door. Uh, yeah. For you the... send... Yeah. Let me just... Up. Hold on. This one is... Yeah, you, um... <laughs> you put Wesley down on the ground, uh, and as his paws touch the ground, he sort of raises them slightly because it seems like there's kind of a frost emanating out from under the door. Uh, make me a perception check with Wesley stats. Wesley gets a plus five. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Yeah, you uh Wesley is able to sort of get really low to the ground, squish half his face under the door, uh, and get a view of the inside. The room is freezing, chunks of frozen meat dangling from the ceiling on hooks and chains. Along the walls, more meat is stacked in piles on meat racks. A small frost covered wood coffer sits in the middle of the floor. The cold seems to be radiating from it. It's sort of like doing that cold, hot, dry ice effect where it's like foggy coming down from it. Uh, Wesley takes his face out, shakes it off uh, the cold and like climbs back up on you. Uh, and he just sort of communicates all that telepathically. Like, um, time to stealthily open that door. All right, you open the oh, door to the cold room? Way back for me, he's, he's, he's blocked. 
I can't get him out of there. I we just have to wait till we go in there and just make another new Finley. Uh, I, I I made a Finley clone <laughs> containment chamber over on this in this area. Oh wait, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, just grab from the just grab from the <laughs> supply. All right, I'm going to look because I feel like I'm just going to assume this was taken by the Eladrin from the Eladrin. Yeah, you open the the door to the cold room. Open the door to the cold room. All sneaky and shit. Um, all right, Red is going to make another perception check while you do that. She's, like, over here now, chasing you down. Um, what was your stealth again? Uh, it was a... Oh, gee. Oh, fuck. I should... Um... It's, like, a 20-something, right? I think it was a 28. Yeah, okay, then you're fine. Um, Red still doesn't notice you. It seems like she's gotten to these weird bird taxidermies. Uh, and she's, like, shooing them out the door. Um... Uh, yeah, you open the door to the frosty cold room. Oh, hey, Stress, what are you doing now? <laughs> yeah, you uh, find a weird frosty room uh, with a wooden frozen coffer, even though it's like completely sealed shut, the uh, sort of dry ice effect emanates out from the cracks. All right, so checking for traps. <laughs> and I explain yeah. how to check for traps because this entire time I'm trying to teach stress stuff. <laughs> sure, you give her you give her the help action and let her do the checks. Yep. All right. Uh, as a druid, she keeps all of her mental stats in wild shape, so she still has her same uh, investigation as before. Nice. Which is good. Um. God damn stress. Uh so she gets a twenty-five. Um and she uh she speaks to you uh in her little wild shape form and she says, um uh, yeah, it kinda seems it, it, it kinda seems like it's I mean it's made of cold. It, it's gonna do cold. Uh she's determined to some kind of like cold damage trap here. Uh that you are able to try to disarm if you like. Yes, I will. I I'll just do the disarming myself. Well done. Yeah. Yeah, she's not able to do it in this form. Mm -hmm. Uh, 19 plus 9. Yeah, you get it open. Um, yeah, uh, you disarm the trap. Uh, you kind of see the cold start to almost click off. It's, it's like picking the lock, but you're disarming the trap from the lock pick. Uh, and then just kind of pops open as well. Um, and inside... Uh, you see a still beating heart. Oh. I'm to assume this is the Aladrin, so honestly, I think it's probably not hers. I'm going to return this. <laughs> um, do I have a bag? <laughs> I'm, going to, I'm going to put the still... It's alive. You um, have the bag of holding now, right? I'm not I going to put it in the bag of holding. I'm is... not putting it in the bag of holding if it's still beating. Yes. I do have the bag of holding, though. That is. You have the bag of holding. Okay. You have your also your own bag. I'm. Is that just a piece of cloth I can wrap? Around? I mean, you have your shirt that you've been wearing up until now. Oh, I have a dagger. <laughs> I'm not getting cold blood everywhere. Yeah, uh, uh, the, the the heart is warm. It emanates coolness, but the heart itself is warm to the touch. Okay. Um, yeah, you can wrap it in your shirt that you had before that you, you got a new shirt, uh, used your old shirt to wrap it up, put it in your bag. As you do so, everything in the room starts to sort of rapidly defrost. It seems like she was using this heart as a fridge. Yep. <laughs> um, where would you like to go next? There's also the door right beside it, uh, and a door at the end of a hallway, and a door that leads to sort of a snoring noise. Um, or sorry, speaking I'm going noise. to wait until it sounds like she's done another rotation of her bird taxidermy so she doesn't walk into me. Um, I'm going to roll for her trying to get the birds out. Oh. All right. Well, the birds are still in the building. Um, they're over here. You see one of the windows that you saw from outside is now being blocked by red and the birds. She's trying to force the birds out the window. 
No, they've been in that time of going to go to B4. <laughs> Dirt's just watching and B4. sees birds go out a window. He's like, do you think that's the signal? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me switch to Fog of War. You open the door there, and you find stairs down to the first floor. Let's see. All right, and then I'm going Oh, actually, to... hold on. Let me just check. Um... It's B4. Ah, a flight of r- rickety stairs runs along the outside of the cottage. Um, outside wall of the cottage with wooden doors at the top and bottom. A rickety railing hugs the edge of the staircase, which looms above a foggy lake. Um, and you hear a sort of steady buzzing sound as you crack the door open. Uh, you get the impression that if you are to open this door fully, you uh, may interrupt a beehive. Bye. Right. I'm not going to. I'm going to go to this room. Um, no, that's not going to this room. You're going to go to this room? All right. Uh, as you approach the door, make me um, a perception check again. Foot traps? No. Okay, 19. Do I have advantage? Yes. Okay, 19 plus 7, 26. Make an arcana check. Wesley can't help with that. Oh, no. it's two. Wait, can Stris help with that? Um, yeah, Stris can help with that. Oh, yay, it's a 17 plus now. <laughs> 17 plus Arcana, 6, 7, 24. You hear clearly the whispered sounds of spellcraft. <laughs> Sleep magic. Uh, this is just, I think, another Wesley Peaks moment. Wesley Peaks? All right, make me a uh, stealth check for Wesley uh, with the uh, Pass Without Trace aura. Stealth check for Wesley and Perception check for Wesley. Okay, stealth is a 10 plus... Wesley table? 10 plus... Okay, 15, 25. Stealth and Perception is 17 plus 5. 22. So 25 perception? Uh, no, 25 stealth, 17, or 22 perception. 22 perception, okay. Um, Wesley peeks under the door. Uh, are you, are you looking through Wesley's eyes, or is this Wesley relaying it to you? Uh, looking through Wesley's eyes in this moment. Okay. Uh, you see two creatures in this room. The first figure is seated in a time-worn worn armchair. She is a tall, lean woman of gray complexion, dressed in black with a wide-brimmed hat obscuring her eyes. The other figure is a toad-like creature with bulging eyes and cracked skin. It is clad in a shapeless garment and sits and, and slumps over the edge of a love seat, its legs sprawled out beneath it snoring flies flitting in and out of its mouth which hangs agape Uh, the room is filthy dirty dishes and bits of discarded food lie everywhere the furniture was perhaps once of fine quality but now stains of mysterious origin model every surface and the upholstery has been patched numerous times set with its back to the wall in one corner is a hulking wooden cabinet sturdy legs support the bottom of the cabinet six inches above the floor a decrepit wooden staircase climbs up a wall in another corner. Um, you can deduce uh, in this room. Uh, make a make a uh, what is intelligence check? Uh, seventeen plus four do I add that plus you, one? Yeah, this is a skill check. Stone of luck. Mm-hmm. All right, seventeen. Plus four, plus one, five, twenty-two. Twenty-two. Uh, you recognize this as a darkling, perhaps a darkling elder, a more powerful one. Um, this darkling elder you also recognize as the one who was climbing out up the side of the building. I believe it was in your first vision in the stream of visions. Uh, okay. What the fuck is a darkling? Um, it's, it's this guy. I, I have him right here. A uh, darkling, uh, Finling, you would know this, is a common type of shadowy fae. Uh, they are uh, generally evil-aligned. 
Yep. Um, this Darkling Elder is whispering a lullaby of spellcraft to the sleeping Bavlorna, reclining in a chair and sipping tea as she does so. Bavlorna's in this room? Bavlorna's in that room, sleeping in that room right now. Oh. I have the Excartha bomb. <laughs> that's true you do all right so i guess i guess i go into this one all right um at least you know where bavlorna is now do, uh, you go down to the bottom bottom one uh this one. Oh shit oh no i put you okay there we go thank god are you going into here? I don't. It, it, I don't know if there's a door there. Hold on. There know. is. I, I can look. You can tilt the camera. It's right there. Okay. Okay. Um. <laughs> That's true. Oh yes, there is. That's. Oh. Yes, there is. Okay. Um. Let me just pull that up. If that's not hallucinating. Ah, there it is. Finley. Um. On the floor. Delete. Um, I'm gonna roll for red, trying to get the vultures out of the window again. <laughs> Jesus Christ, girl. Okay, she manages to get one of the terrible uh, birds out the window. Um, oh, wrong button. She gets one of the birds out the window, the other one is still fucking with her and has gone back over here, so she's looking away from you again. Uh, you go, uh, Clone Finley. Get out of here. You're not real. Uh, Into containment. Yeah. Oh, no. Finley's just... Uh, anyway. You go in here. Uh, you... Uh, this room contains dozens of pickling jars on wooden racks. Most of the jars are filled with pig snouts, toads, small birds, onions, mushrooms, and other cooking ingredients. One of the jars contains a campestry, which is a small uh, mushroom creature. Oh my goodness. He's in a jar. No. Looking at you with like giant puppy dog eyes over on the shelf here. Help him. Hello. Hello? 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 That's probably uh -oh. like fucking Carson's mic. That's so fucking hell. Um, Stop wiggling your cables. Alright, uh, hey little guy. Mind if I put you in my bag while I escape? Uh, he blinks up at you with big, uh, pleading eyes. Right, I'm going to put him in the non-bag of holding. <laughs> okay, yeah, you just stick the campestry in the bag. All right. Uh, yeah, there's nothing else to note in this room. Uh, I think I'm going to put that in miscellaneous. <laughs> That's a good call. <laughs> oh, oh wait, no God. Card. Um, ah, uh, yeah. That's a good, that was a good plan. That was a good plan. Huh? Huh? Okay. Oh, sorry, that dude sings if you let him out. Does, does, I don't think you're doing that, so I don't mind saying it. Does Finley yeah. know what that is? Or is a campestry? Oh, yeah. yeah, make, a, uh, make a, a, a nature check, Finley. Uh, 11 plus 4. 5. Yeah. 11 plus 5. 16. Uh, they are a species of mushroom, a little like mushroom plant guys that originate from the Feywild. Very cool. Yeah. Um, they are extremely tiny, simple-minded, kind of like, they're like barely more intelligent than a raven. Sure. Yeah. Almost um, sapient, but not quite. Yeah. This is what they look like. Um, yeah, I'm Aww. going to go to this oh sorry i'm not looking at the map which room over here yes straight ahead um you uh head over to that room are you peeking in first or are you just going straight in uh i'll do a wesley peek all right um roll a perception uh 14 plus 5 19 all right. A contraption made of entangled copper tubes connects to a potbelly boiler and a dozen cylindrical containers, which turn spouts even more, which in turn spout even more tubes that feed into buckets. Barrels are clustered in the southeast corner, uh, 
and a work table in one corner of the room has bits of copper and metalworking tools strewn across it. Light filters in through the green diamond-shaped panes of glass in the window. Uh, let me just delete this. Uh, it's a distillery room. Um, you find access to another window with sort of green tinted glass. I am going to go do this first. I'm going to okay. clear the second floor, then do the signal. And then gotcha. once Bavlorna, because I want to know, I want to think of what the most, the path that Bavlorna is going to take. Right. And mm -hmm. make sure I'm not in it. You saw a staircase in the room, right? Was it going up or down? Up. Oh. Okay. And there's also this other room. Yeah. But I think I'll get there. First off, here we go. Uh, another Wesley check? Just roll perception? Um, I'm going... Or just going in? Uh, I think I'm just going to go in. I don't... I feel like he'll fail this and it'll suck. So I'm just going to advantage stealth go through. Bro, he's right. really Actually, wait, I should do an investigation <laughs> check around this room for any of the missing things. Sure, go ahead. Uh, yeah, roll an investigation check for the pitch distillery. Wesley, help. Be investigating and shit. Oh. No, that's not the right window, even. What am I? Wait. Oh, it was investigate. 10, uh, 11, 22, uh, 22. Yes. 22 investigation? 11 plus 11. Um, while no objects particularly stand out to you, the make and build of this distillery do. This does not look like it's well constructed, and it looks like there's a lot of flammable and tweakable uh, and fuck withable things here. I was I was thinking that I was thinking yeah this, this could also be a decent room to blow up. This yeah that yeah. They, on that investigation track you can deduce this would be a decent room to blow up. There's a lot of explosives in here with this hooch. What's our country's name? Because that's the fucking mindset. Scram damble mindset, baby. Scram damble mindset of blow <laughs> shit up. Let's go. All right, uh, uh, next room. I'm gonna sneak into this one. Yep. Yeah. Uh, this room has two exits. Above each door, mounted on a wooden plaque, is a severed goblin head with its mouth agape. Other furnishings include a sideboard, two cupboards with doors made of wood-framed glass, and a large banquet table covered with plates of half-eaten food and a swarm of feasting flies. A chandelier hangs above the table, its tallow candles filling the room with dim, flickering light. Six, mis mis six mismatched chairs flank the table, three chairs per side. Um, I'm going to check for traps in this room, because I... Yeah, I, roll I, investigation. I, I'm suspicious of an alarm <laughs> with that goblin head. 18 plus 11. Um, you peer around the rooms, especially at the goblin heads, um, because there's one above each door. Um, and in each one, you spot... Uh... Oh, shit, part of this room is blocked off. Oh, well. um, in each one, you spot a glaring and fearful-looking lornling. It's over chat. At least she's Ruh -ruh. asleep. So, um, these ones look fearful and not scheming like the other ones. They do not try to leave. They just stare back at you in shock and fear. Get him, oh. him now. Yep. I, I think... Mm. There's two. That's the tough part. No. There's probably a reason they're in those gubby heads, surely. Uh, oh, insight check. Insight check. Roll insight. And that's just a straight roll. 15 plus X plus 7. 22. God, I get a lot of 22s. <laughs> I've um, these, many. yeah, uh, you see one of them that you make eye contact with raises a shaky finger over its mouth. This thing looks emaciated no i'm also going to do a fakey finger over my mouth uh it nods it nods um uh and it 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 
speaks up quietly, actually, and it goes, Leave us be. We don't want to die like the others. I'm just going to nod, and then, um... Uh, look around the room for lost items. Um, with that investigation from before, you don't find anything. All right. Next room. Next room. A bunch of lonelings definitely were just eaten by Babylonia in that room, and these guys escaped. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) What the Um, you find a long hallway with one door immediately across the way. Um, and as you pass, you see a mirror. Let me just get the, uh, description of this area. Um, uh, the walls of this dank hallway are covered with scores of portraits depicting grumpy, sad, frightened, and angry people. The figures include humans, elves, halflings, bullywug, and goblins, among others. The portraits are rendered in a variety of mediums, including paintings, etchings, and sketches. All are displayed in gaudy, gilded frames. A framed oval mirror two feet wide and five feet tall hangs in the middle of one wall. Um, do I recognize any of them? Hmm, that's a good question. Uh, roll me a history check. Not one. Nope. Oof. <laughs> I'm fine getting it here. All right. Um, check for traps on that mirror. Check for traps on the mirror. Uh, yeah. Roll investigation. Eighteen plus what? Uh, uh yeah, the eighteen's fine. Um. Okay. Um, looking around, you don't see anything uh trap like. But even though you know you have a sort of, you've been told many times by the people around you that you get sort of a look on your face when you're being very quizzical, when you're being sort of investigatorly. Uh, You look in the mirror and you see your face devoid of emotion, completely blank. Um, Behind the wall, you see the edges of uh, what looks like a door. Behind the mirror? Behind the mirror. There's the edges of a door. Oh. Cool, I'm going to not be too loud, but break into that. Um, With that uh, investigation check, you can deduce that there is no way to lockpick this or break into this. This is some kind of magic thing. You would need to magically open it or figure out perhaps how the mirror does. Arcana check. I roll Arcana. Uh, oh, that's a three plus six. Seven, ten. Um, you can't really figure it out. You frown. The mirror doesn't reflect that. It's still a, it's just a neutral face. It still mirrors you. It's very much a mirror. Um, Wesley pops out of your pocket, pulls a silly face, and the mirror reflects him back completely neutral as well. I'm not going to battle. All right. This room. <laughs> This room. Uh, all right. Do you you just go right in? All stealthy, but yes. Yes. All right. Um. Hold on. Let me rotate. Just done that. Delete. Bedroom. Um. Uh. This is a dusty, uncluttered room. Uh. Aside from the dust, unlike the rest of the house, it seems like there was a clear effort to keep this room presentable, lived in, somebody stayed here recently. Um, one of, some of the only decorations in the room are a, uh, a bedside table with a simple lantern and a drawer, uh, and several shadow boxes hanging on the walls at either side of a modest bed. Um, most of the shadow boxes contain mummified pixies pinned to boards like a collection of butterflies, along with a mm-hmm. variety of other small, tiny fae. Um, an old training bow leans in the corner. Um, the dude. It's the guy. It's the guy. It's the guy. Oh. Mm. I'm not going to take it because that would be stealing and that's wrong. <laughs> so um, true. No, I'm returning things. 
Yeah, uh, you can look in the drawer or you can uh, head on to a different room. Well, you said it, so I'm going to do it. <laughs> yeah. That, so. uh, uh, rolls uh, investigation. Oh, 17 plus 11. Yeah, okay, it's fine. Uh, there's no traps. All right. And what's in the drawer? Um, in the drawer, you find uh, some wood carver's tools, uh, several simple handcrafted arrows with sort of runes and arcana carved into them. They don't look finished or usable. Um, the Swedish runes. Not finished. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Go yourself. Um, you also find a an old sort of very rusted over. What's the word? Uh, not rusted, but eroded. like when metal eroded. eroded. Yeah, a, a slightly eroded old uh, pendant with a uh, make an investigation check. Sixteen plus. Eleven. Uh, it seems like there was some kind of feather pattern, uh, and you can make out sort of half the side of a heart. Oh. All right. Well, I'm clapping that gang. <laughs> it's not stealing this time if it's old and fucked up. It's not stealing if it's cool. It's not stealing if it's cool. If it's a clue, guys, it's not stealing. Absolutely, Reem Chun. Um. Oh yeah, I just said clap without even thinking about it. <laughs> you find another door to the room with the uh, thing. You find a floor down to be uh, down uh, a spiral staircase to downstairs. Yes, I'm going to go down it. All right. Uh, let me take you down to B one. Yep. This isn't the B hallway though. I do be the cat. Mm -hmm. I do be the cat. The booby downstairs. She's lodged on the windowsill. The booby. Yes. You come <gasps> downstairs to find a uh, large pond-like room. Um, outside, by this point, uh, you guys will be able to place yourselves anywhere on the map that you want. When we switch back, we've sure. reached a point in time where basically anything would be viable. Yeah. Cool. I have something I want to bring up, but I'll wait until this bit's over. Um. Uh, no, I go ahead. Uh, just. Uh, uh, we kind of fucking glossed over leaving the tavern. Is it too late for me to scrounge for material components? Um. So during. Kind oh, of this... we can circle back to that. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um. Yes. Nothing no. in this room except a mirror. A mirror oh, wow. on oh well, you oh. see a large lily pad uh, that has like some weird tendrils it's, it's, going down from it. Um, you see a whole bunch. Uh, oh, I can read. I can, there's a fucking description of this area. Hold on. What am I doing? Like in the um, A recessed pool lined with moldy clay tiles takes up most of this large square room. Stagnant water fills the depression to a depth of one foot. Rising from the pool's center is the head of a stone well that gives off an unpleasant pungent odor. In one corner of the pool stands a tall, dirty, freestanding mirror in an oval frame. Uh, uh, the floating and floating on the water is a large li lily pad. Creaking wooden floorboards are arranged in a ten-foot-wide raised walkway around the pool. This walkway is crowded with shelves, tables, and stools in all shapes and sizes. Almost every available surface is littered with stacks of dirty plates, scraps of food, and old junk. Dressing dummies are pushed together in one corner and a wooden staircase spirals up from another. Five closed doors lead off from the room. Uh, can I inspect the clothes? Do any of them look like... Hmm. I'm gonna inspect the Yes! Clothes. You can go over and start expect inspecting the clothes and stuff. Um, of course, I'm always sneaky. Yes, roll another stealth check. Uh, 15 plus 16. 31. 31. Alright, yeah, you feel significantly hidden. Um, seven humanoid-shaped dressing dummies stand in the corner. Four medium-sized, three small-sized. Um, six of them are adorned with various of uh, Bath Lorna's shoddy home-stitched garments. Um, one of them wears a very tall, sort of, uh, uh, blonde, 
beehive wig with like actual like bees stuck in it. Um, it looks like it's trying to be aesthetic, but it just looks gross. Um, and one completely bare mannequin, uh, save for an ugly pointed black witch's hat. Wesley. Okay, Wesley's going to put on his beehive hat. <laughs> oh, that's right. He has that. Yeah. yeah Wesley, uh, puts on his, Wesley puts on his beehive wig. You do look better than you, Wesley. Ah, uh, thanks. Uh, and now he's going to take it off. <laughs> I'm I'm role play uh, as Wesley. It was just him putting on the hat to make it sure he looked bad. True. That's fair. That's fair. Um, make me an Arcana check. Uh, twelve plus three. seven. Thank you. Um. Yeah, both this headpiece and the black witch's hat are giving off sort of a "Hey, this feels like a magic thing" kind of vibe. <laughs> Um, I'm going to take the Black Witch's hat. Um, and... as, sorry, one sec, let me just, uh... I think the mannequin's a trap, but... You have alerted the frogs. Ribbit. Frogs explode. Let's see, um... I need to do a... Does a 15 hit your AC? Ooh. <gasps> I didn't check for traps. Okay. On the one thing that was trapped. It's over trapped. Does a 15 hit your AC? No. No. Um, you see this hat. Oh, wait. Yes, I have 15 AC. You have 15. Okay, so yeah, meets it, beats it. Um, you take uh, five uh, plus three. You take eight points of blood uh, bludgeoning damage as this hat... Uh, springs to life let me grab the mini <laughs> it's all over <laughs> oh my oh. god oh, what the it. fuck is that thing oh yeah it's one of those oh uh -oh. You uh, got that right, I, I, I i thought the investigation check would have done it it's over oh, it's like a cloaker but it's a fuck the pointy hat uh, yeah, it's, sorry, it would not have been found except by magical means. Um, a dark mantle, uh, it, it attacks you, but it actually grabs your new hat, uh, and starts making a, a, a dash for a window. Uh, it's trying to escape with your hat. Oh, well, that's okay. Oh. Right, guys. My fucking hat. Probably not. Uh, can I try to grab it with a mage hand? Uh, yeah. Roll a... Uh, roll an attack roll with your mage hand, which would be a plus zero. Or I guess... Hmm. I don't think you can with a mage hand, because you can't do attack rolls. You'd have to try to just grab it yourself. Why it only grapple? gets... It only gets, like, 30... Is grappling oh, wait, no, an attack? Because can't you... Like yes, grapple grappling action. Okay. That's an oh, attack. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, it's going for the f one of these windows that's up here because the, the balcony windows are open. So five, ten, I don't know, five, ten, fifteen. Attack of opportunity. Twenty, twenty-five. Oh yeah. Um, you would get an attack of opportunity on it. Uh, and I can't do shock and grasp for an attack of opportunity, can I? No, you would need a uh, warcaster. We can Is use. That yeah, you have no, a dagger. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Dagger it is, then. Can you and you have an ally an within five feet of it. Uh, you have an ally within five feet of it because you have the two weasels, so you do get sneak attack on this opportunity okay. attack. Okay. Nice. Uh, so yeah, roll the hit. That 20! Oh, that 20? Yeah. Holy shit. Um, so you have, I believe, 3d6 sneak attack now? Yep. So roll 2d4 and 6d6. God damn, brother. Yes. Yes, this is what we needed. Okay, that is five plus the six time. Six, nine, ten, eleven, sixteen. That is twenty one plus the dagger. Yeah, you don't forget to add your dexterity damage as well. 
Yes. And the dagger is a plus three, so that is 20, 21 plus three, 24. Uh, yeah, you, this thing, uh, you touch it, it lashes out and attacks you, uh, knocking you on the head and stealing your new hat off. You whirl around and drive your dagger straight through it and into the ground, uh, killing it instantly, uh, picking up your hat and putting it back on your head like Indiana Jones. And I'm going to stuff in the corner now. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, you stuff you stuff the body of this uh dark mantle in the corner. Um and, and you that can is motionless. It's indistinguishable. <laughs> True. <laughs> uh and you can check Baxter's hair off of your list. Yes. Oh yeah, um, true. I forgot about that. Yeah, uh the hair was turned into kind of wig. Snatched the fucking wave. Okay, um, uh, yeah, there's mirror in the center of the pool. There's the lily pad. There's uh, the doors on the, either side. There's the uh, spiral stairs up. Um, and also the hatch that goes down. And also the hatch that goes down. But that's like the exit hatch. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Um, B3. I'm going to... A B3. Wesley P. <laughs> All right. I the, the poop and farting room. Yeah, I don't, just the there's going to be one. There's going to be one room full of fucked up things. I guarantee you. She's the going fabric... to just have a fucking corpse cupboard full of amalgamations. <laughs> uh, mm. Scraps of cloth and bundles of yarn are piled throughout this small room. Uh, this is Bavlorna's fabric storage closet. Did mm. Zoika say that Bavlorna stole any fabrics? No, uh, she hasn't had any sort of uh, relationship, positive or negative. Uh, Zoe, that's what I mentioned with Beth Lorna. All right, then that's, that's just her stuff, so I'm not going to take that. No. All right. Uh, um, sitting on the sitting on a desk, you do see a few little uh, humanoid-shaped pin cushions. Oh, but otherwise, there's ooh. nothing of note. Definitely gonna take Do-do-do. those. You're going to take a closer look at those? I'm going to do an arcana check and also an investigation check in the room for traps. Uh, roll an investigation check. And an arcana check. That is a... Oh, that's a 7 plus 11, so 18. And the arcana check, without advantage, is 8 plus 7, 15. Okay, uh, nothing wait, trap-like wait, 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 wait. or... Investigation, oh. what did I get? Seven plus, uh, believe... seven plus eleven. Yeah. I said that was fifteen. That's eighteen. Mm-hmm. Don't worry, I did the math. Uh, yeah, you got an eighteen. Um, yeah, nothing trap-like, nothing uh, magical springs to mind. But you do note that the designs of these three uh, pin cushions are. One of them is a. Uh, one has a pair of wooden wings. Uh, one has a, one of them is mounted on a tiny wooden rocking horse, and one of them has a large witch's hat. Well, I think it's not cool if she has voodoo bo- dolls, and I'm not going to blow up voodoo dolls. Yeah. That mm, is kind not... of like a hostage, but in a tiny... Uh, the, that arcana check would tell you that these are probably not, like, real magic, but more of a art project thing. You don't think that these are real actual voodoo dolls with that arcana check. Okay. They're toys, though. Yippee! They're, they're toys, yippee! <laughs> I'm gonna get Clapperclaw's toys back. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, you, t- you take the uh, the three pincushion dolls uh, with the pins stuck in them. Yes. One second, I need to write that down. Oh, you already know what this one is, so I can just this is before. Uh, oh no, I feel like I got to write down one of the things I got. It was oh quest items, there we go. Baxter's wig. And I oh, think wait. that's the only quest item I've gotten so far, so yeah. Uh, you also found the Aladrin's heart, which you oh. didn't know was a quest item, but got. <laughs> I, yeah, I I had enough information to make an assumption. 
Yeah. Um, okay. B4 is back up. It's those stairs. That makes sense. Next room. Next room down? All right. Um, a large cupboard stands alone in this room. Find scroll work. Find scroll work. Find, ugh. Fine scroll work frames the cupboard's two doors, which are bridged by a circular panel of dark wood. The panel is inlaid with a silver hourglass sigil. Ah, <gasps> the hourglass coven. Yep. All right. Mm. Uh, this is. I, I think we found some good stuff. Right. Uh, investigation check, and check for chips. Investigation. Uh, yeah. Roll investigation and roll for check for trap. Nat twenty. Huge. Investigation. Yeah. Uh, not for any investigation. You that examine is 34. the uh, thirty-four for check for traps. Yeah. All right. Uh, you examine the hourglass sigil, and you find that should you turn it upside down, uh, you should be able to open up the cupboard. You also find that if you turn it uh, to the left, it will open. You turn it to the right, and it will be bad. It's a trap. Okay. Uh. So left and upside down both open it? Uh, uh, basically kind of getting the, like flipping the hourglass on its head is going to open it either way. But if you turn it to the left, uh, you don't get a trap attack. If you turn it to the right, you do get a trap attack. Turn it to the left. Then. All right. Uh, inside of the cupboard, uh, divided into two rows of small compartments. Um, each one stuffed with pouches and other tiny containers. One of the containers is a teacup-sized ceramic cauldron, uh, inside of which is a p piece of paper with the word spittle spew, uh, written out in common. Um, other, this is sort of various random little collections, mementos, and trinkets. Uh, there's loose buttons of various shapes, colors, and materials, a stray cutlery, all from different sets. Unopened love letters, not written or addressed to Bavlorna, but to long-dead people with whom Bavlorna has had dealings. Old, frayed-up, coiled belts, um, pressed flowers and loose, dried-up petals, a horseshoe, a silver key, feathers from various birds, and a chipped teacup. All right. Uh, silver key for sure. Yes. I think that's tell of us. Hopefully. Yes, open. Yes, open. Quest item, ping noise. Woo. Uh, uh, and... Are there any of those items you said to any of them? None of them really strike anything of particular interest. Sorry, but can you go over them again? I just... Uh, loose buttons, stray cutlery, unopened love letters, uh, coiled up belts, pressed flowers, horseshoe, feathers. Um, I'm going to put the belts, horseshoe... And I think I might just put everything in think of You're I just think taking that, all of it? I You're just taking all, every... These are all stolen items, I think. <laughs> That's fair. All right, I will uh, just write down um, B5 full list. Remind me after the session, and I will just copy-paste it over to you. Um, B5 full list. Bold, even. And then final uh, door in the room. Final door in the room. I'm going to go around this way again. Okay. I'm not going to risk even going too towards BC. Fair enough. Uh, you go, you open the door uh, to up see room. a... Up room. Oh, God. You open the door to see a horse's head leering at you with glossy dead eyes. <laughs> its lips <laughs> drawn back from pointed yellow teeth. The head is affixed to a large, eight-limbed armature made of wicker and wire, situated so that it faces the doorway where you enter. Near it is a wooden crate. Flies buzz around this disordered room, landing occasionally on animal carcasses that lie strewn in small piles. On a low table rests an assortment of tools. Saws, knives, scrapers, a hand-cranked drill, sewing thread, needles, and awls all around several taxidermic subjects in various stages of completion. 
A shelf that looks on the verge of collapse leans against the wall between the two windows and bears the weight of dozens of stuffed horrors. Each one is an artless combination of two or more animals. Uh, perception check. Are any of these active? Uh, make a perception check. I think this would be perception or investigation. Yeah. Uh, Wesley's probably plugging his nose. 14 plus 7. Oh, plus 8. That's another 22, guys. Um... Uh, Bavlor, there's a large crate in the room. Bavlorn is named scrawled on one side of it. Um, the crate looks like it contains just sort of a pile of, of various corpse bits, but you realize that this is a stitched together creature, sort of dormant in this crate. Um, it's not active right now, but it can be if disturbed. Um, with that high of a check, uh, you determine that this is some kind of fucked up version of a basilisk. Oh, oh <laughs> awkward. Cool. Okay, so I'm going to look around the room for Elmer's fingers, but not touch that crate. All right. Um, make another investigation check. Oh, uh, 21. A 21. Um, you are confident that uh, whatever has become of Elmer's thumbs, it's not in here. Um, or it's hands. It's one of those things. Um, they're not in here. Something that you do find is a uh, a, bo a small box with drawers that contain various glass eyes. Um, some of these look like they are natural glass eyes. Some of these look like they are humanoid eyes made glass. Uh, one of them is in a, uh, sort of special drawer at the very top right that needs to be jimmied open to be able to get into it. Uh, but this one contains a wooden eye that, when touched, smells like your favorite food when you were a nine-year-old. Holy shit, it's been so long since I've gotten good city food. <laughs> Oh, he wow. says that loud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you find a, a box of weird eyes. I. That's. Uh, these are all probably stolen, but there's no anyone to return them to. Um. I think that's. I think I'm not going to take any of those. That's too weird to grab for me. That's fair. You leave the box of eyes. Yep. That's including the wood one? Including the wood one. Well, gotcha. that's wood. But it's also stealing, and that's... I think I'll take okay. the wood eye. It smells good. You take the good smelling wooden eye, gotcha. Yummy! Uh, Don't eat it. That's Don't eat it. Think it's <laughs> it's good, like the markers smelling. that smell good, they don't taste eye. good. The good smelling eye. Cool. All right. Um, oh, I'm also going to eat eight good berries. Oh, yes, fair. <laughs> uh, you get back He's up to full so health. Full. He is so full right now. He's eight times full. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, you don't so... have to eat for the rest of the day. That's you awesome. can. It's it's the kind of full where it doesn't, like, it... It can made space can be made. It's not like it it it's if you eat something, it sort of replaces the good berry effect. It doesn't yeah. combine with it. Um. Um. No. Would you like to go back upstairs? Uh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um. I'm going to get to B seventeen. I'll sneak you up. All right. We'll start since I'm on a new floor again. I do. Yes. And I'm gonna roll. Eight plus, um, sixteen. They almost mattered. Um, that almost mattered. Twenty four. <laughs> Twenty four. Yeah. Um. Oh, wait. You... It's a seventeen. Twenty five. Yeah, because you have the the luck stone, good luck which feather. So fucking nice. flower. Yep. Yeah, that's just in the book. Um. Basil's a great place guy. to start the heist. Real. Yeah, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> I found one of um, the best boons instantly. 
Um, yeah, you go to signal out the window. Yep, just like one light flashes, and um, I think I have to get back to what I'm gonna do, but I'm also probably going to <laughs> set. I'm not going to set this room up to boom yet. I don't think. Um, I yeah, am you still going have to B eight to hide okay. while she goes through her house. So after I do the signal, I'm going to go to B eight. All right. And if any... gotcha. yep. um, yeah, so I think that's that's the Finley half done. I did oh, yeah. lots. I did half the dungeon. <laughs> Insane, crazy. The world mission was a success, guys. World Amen. mission, unbelievable. Actually, pretty believable, oh, but still. Oh. Yeah, pretty believable. I had so okay, much. Okay, and then I love it. And then we go back to downfall. Now, uh, you guys have um, the what well, we're gonna skip back in time to the Max and Minute crew right before you guys have like half an hour left till Idris show, like 20 minutes left till Idris shows up. You've just dealt with the bully wug. Uh, speed around this. What do you want to try to do? Um, I want to ask Sue if she has, fuck, I forget exactly what the component is, but the thing the for- The uh, acorn that you're looking for? Yes. Uh, yeah, you ask Sue, roll a persuasion check. Uh, that's, that's what we'll call this, just to see. This is half persuasion, half luck check to see if this is something she has, but, you know. Okay. Hey, Sue, you're a really cool druid, like the coolest druid I've met. That's okay, it's a 12. My persuasion is decent. That's a 16 total. 16 total. Uh, yeah, she tells you a little story about how she, uh, Telemi Hill seems to drop them all over and this one quite ne never quite came to fruition, uh, waiting for it to be someone. You do have to, you do drop acorns all over. That happened. Yep. Telemi drops the little golden acorn. So you get another little Telemi gold acorn, but this one is more, this one's like heavier, more solid gold, uh, and it will work as your component. Cool, cool, so um, cool. <laughs> You, uh, Yui is able to get you a kettle full of water from the kitchen, um, for the frog. Uh, wow. so then, yeah, Idris, Minip, uh, Idris and Minip, where are you guys? Max is over here. Uh, I got mm -hmm. Idris, Minip, where are you guys going? I believe I'm checking out the tree blight, right? Are you going over to do that first? Uh, that was the plan, wasn't I it? Don't, or was it not? If, if I'm allowed to say we didn't mention anything about you going through the tree. Whether you want to do it or not, absolutely up to you, though. Uh, what does it look like when I first clock it? Um, how, how close do you get? Um, you can control your little guy, Minips, over here by uh, Zoika's house. At the start, probably, I'd be probably just right there, yeah. Just from right there, uh, make a perception check. Okay. Uh, oh, that's pretty good. That's a 15 plus, uh, perception, perception, 15 plus four, 19 total. Uh, several holes dot the trunk of an, a gnarled old tree that grows on the shore of the lake. The tree has lost all of its bark, and a few withered leaves cling, cling onto the end of its twisted, knotted branches. One mm -hmm. end of a clothesline is tied to a high branch on the northwest side of the tree. Several old garments hang from the clothesline, the other end of which disappears into the fog hovering above the lake. Okay. Okay, I don't think I have reason enough to go check it out just yet, so I'll hang back at uh, Zoiga's hut. Yeah, you're told that it's alive, but it's not given any indication of being so. Oh, I should put Yui on board. I was just about to ask. Um, <laughs> Yui does not go into Zoigo's. Yui stays outside. Uh. Oh shit! She's put up her shields already. All right. Uh, I guess we'll swing by, say hi later. She's going to stick with you guys. Max is over here now. Um, is there anything else you guys would like to do for your preparation? Any other places you'd like to place yourself? 
or would you like to skip ahead to Finley's signal? Um, um, can I can I just like idly look at the cauldron? Like, do I get do I do I do I see anything interesting going on over there? Or is it just sitting on a fire? Make a perception check on the cauldron. All right. That is a. Where the fuck did my my thingy go? So sorry. Uh, so that's an eleven. Uh, it looks like there's a sort of cauldron in the distance. Cool. <laughs> That's it. That's all I got. All right. Um, MJ Isaac, do you guys have anything? Are you all set? I'm all set. Isaac's mm-hmm. set up the darkness place, right? Well, Max. Is. Yes, Max has uh, a ma- Max is gonna set up the darkness orb of gong- gonging. Yeah. Little mix out a kettle. Kettle yeah, and gong. A kettle. A mummified frog and a uh, an orb that makes a big noise. Yeah. Um. You guys, um, dirt crawler, are you still back behind the house, or are you over here with the others? Um. Is this like within sight? Like, is it still like I know that it looks like there's one tree right here, but is it like still woods in this area? Um, it's like light woodage. It's right. like the edges of it as th- it gets more into like. I think I want to hang up behind here because he would feel more kind of hidden. And then once he sees the signal, like he's peeking around the corner, then he's going to run up this way and do the thing or attempt to. This is sort of like where the woods gets heavy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's just going to be, be hiding behind the house for now. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, then Minip and Idris, you are the only ones who see. Uh, and Max. No, not from this angle. I don't think. Never mind. Minip and Idris, you guys see uh, Finley's signal. Wait, right. no, I'm I'm peeking around the house to be looking at the uh the thing. At the... Oh, okay, you're peeking around the house. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah gotcha. Oh, I was yeah, three... chaos. Um, I'd say actually, Max, make a perception check to see if you can see it from that angle. Okay, that is a nine. Nope. His signal is to um look out for the smoke bombs and then start doing his thing anyways. Yeah, I can start doing Yeah, smoke. true, true. All right, well, proceed. Who's going first? What you doing? Let's so go, go. Idris. Let's fucking go. Yes. What round? What, what wait, is it? What happened to the... Oh, I see. Never mind. Okay, so I'm only oh, yeah, it's... four now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smoke bombs. The crawl will probably have to walk up. At least half the distance. All right. So how how high above this watchtower are you going to fly? Let me let me get the as you approach each thing. I'm gonna also give you little descriptions for the. Uh... Oh shit! I skipped back to the, the chapter. Um... You're swooping around. You're doing like left to right, right? Like doing like that kind yeah, of. Yeah. Left okay. to right. By the time you drop this one, that's when I'm gonna start booking it. Okay. Uh, the watchtower, a 10-foot-high raised wooden platform, stands atop a mound of mossy green earth and mud. Two bullywug ladies atop their guard post, uh, occasionally peering through long spy glasses mounted on a swivel. A frayed clothesline attached to one corner of the watchtower is festooned with, paper, with patchwork garments. The line stretches out towards a nearby lake before disappearing into the fog. Um, so they're not paying much attention. It's 10 feet off the ground. How high in the air are you? I will be... Strokes, long white wizard beard. True. Fifty feet in the air. All right. Uh, if you use your bonus action to use your face step, your movement is fifty feet right now, which means you can get up and down e- nice and easy. Um. Wait. How tall is the tower? Ten feet. Uh, face step is as a bonus action. You can disengage, and that also adds five feet to your movement speed. I see. Okay. Slay. Yeah. Fifty feet up. I'm so um, right. fast. Yeah, baby. Long strider. Plus. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Because she has thirty-five base speed plus ten from long strider, uh, plus a potential five from face step. Um, yeah, uh, you just drop the first bomb. Yeah. You, uh, light it, I'm assuming, with prestidigitation. Oh, I forgot I have to light it. It's not like a nuke. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll light it with prestidigitation. Uh, let me go get the stats for this. I wonder if a nuke would have been on the table. 
Are you no. a bimbo or something? No. Also, by the no. Right on. I had to accept the joint because of reciprocity. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized. <laughs> No, it's a good thing you didn't. You would have had to make a really big constitution saving throw for that good mirage shit. <laughs> so shit. Um. Yeah, you drop it. Um. And it it, it you drop it, and then it uh, starts the smoke one round later. Okay. So keep That's that in mind. Good. You drop the first bomb flying by. Roll me a stealth check. Uh, to roll it without alerting them. Okay. Think. Fuck. That's a nineteen. Yeah. Okay. You uh drop it. It lands between them. Uh, they take no notice. Uh, you fly. You can probably draw. Where's your next one? Is it the yellow one right next to it? Yep. Uh, yeah. You can draw both of those ones in. Uh, what would be counted as this round before they go off? Slay. So you drop two, uh, and then on your way over, um, as you reach that, Dirt Crawler, you begin charging forward as these two smoke bombs go off. Mm -hmm. Um, Finley, you hear the explosions begin outside. Um... You just you drop another one, um, Dirt Crawler, you are approaching. Uh, Yui and Minip, what are you guys doing? Um, okay, so Idris has went over to the east, so I think, um, I'm also playing, I'm just going to try and, it's, each one of these is 25, uh, sorry, 10 feet apiece, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, then I'm just going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, just kind of stay between them so I can respond if we need heals. All right, uh, if you're dashing, you can use 50 feet, remember. I can. Is there anything else I want to do, though? I don't think so. Um, Yui is going to stick with you unless she's instructed to do anything differently, so just move you two in unison. Okay, cool. Um, uh, ah, hmm. Hold on, let me check the spell. I found reach dirt, right? Uh, he is. Oh no, he's fucking miles away. Uh, he's he'd be about this close uh, on this turn. That's so... uh, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. I could not reach dirt. Okay, never mind. Um, is this concentration? I don't think so. What are you looking at? I'm looking at enhance ability, but I don't think it can really mm-hmm. help at the minute. Uh, it is concentration. Okay, never mind. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pop that up. Yet. So, yeah, I'll just dash and go five, ten, uh, fifteen, twenty. Just kind of nice and in the middle. All right. Uh, Yui is sticking with you. She's got her hammer at the ready. Um, dirt crawler. You mm-hmm. want to try to make like a shove attack against this cauldron? Basically, yeah, I'm just trying to shove it into the water. Little giant. Okay. Uh. A little bit of trolling. Uh, my size is large when determining how much I can push. No, that is true. That is true. <laughs> I'm just Anything? trying to see if it lists the weight. Sure, anything. sure, sure. Yeah, as I'm running up to it, I mean, pretty much no matter what, I'm a, I'm gonna still be full, full charge trying to hit this thing. But I yeah, yeah this... um, are you raging as you do this, or are you to get advantage on the strength check, or are you just doing it? Um, you, using one rage now, and yeah. then you'll have another one. For the yeah, battle, right now right? this is kind of a do or die thing. So yeah, I'll, I'll be your agent while I do this. All right, roll a d twelve. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's Ooh, true. Yeah. Uh, d twelve, my beloved, that is a three. Ooh, okay. Um, let me. A3, um, yeah, okay, as you, uh, run, um, you see the mud in the swamp 
sort of clings up and sticks to you and starts to coat the edges of your weapon as well as your fists. Um, Ooh, unfortunate. While, ra while raging, your uh, weapon and unarmed strikes do an extra D4 bludgeoning damage per hit. Damn. Um, Damn, cool. Roll a D100. All right. What? Oh. oh. <laughs> uh. He's a special Feywild number, guys. That's true. Oh, yeah. Huge. Okay, so this is how that works. I put you. That's uh when it land when the 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 D ten with the two numbers landed on it, that's a zero zero and then a four. So is that a four. That's, a four. that's just oh four. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. If you roll a um, ten, then it's a four. Oh. Right. oh my god, okay. Four. Uh, um, I can't wait to find out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Dirt crawler. Uh, as you run forward, this mud starts to coat you. You, your eyes strengthen, and you get that sort of fucking dirt crawler magic eye thing happens. Um, you have see invisibility cast on yourself for the next hour. Interesting. Cool. cool. Interesting. Dude, it's helpful. him. It's dirt crawl. He's covered in dirt, guys. Guys, oh, he's the dirt crawler, guys. That's the, the, that's the um, title he's of the a movie. All of like now. That's uh, uh, now make a. Uh, this would be an unarmed, or what would this be? This would be a a shove attack, which I'm just gonna do is strength plus proficiency, uh, with advantage. Strength plus proficiency. All right. What <laughs> the fuck? Where's my other die? Advantage. Shove that pot in the lake. Um, so that is. Blinks one at a time. That's going to be 24. <laughs> yes. You're going to be a 24. Holy shit. Let me just. Simple as. Baby. Yeah. Um, dirt crawler, you come barreling out this mud feeling like it should be restraining you, but instead it just kind of powers over you going up your arm into your shoulder and uh onto your shoulder and like taking some of the brunt of the force as you slam your shoulder into this bulbous green black cauldron uh sending it tumbling down the hill rolling into the lake um a uh, let me just object saved object I hope the band snatch eats it. That's do you funny. do the thing where you like bash it with your shoulder, or are you shoving it with like your hands and arms? Um, mm -hmm. I flavored it as shoulder. Yeah, you can do sure. whatever you want. Uh, uh, he'll do it with his hands because he's wearing the funny like heavy gauntlets. So just for that kind of. Oh, flavor. that makes sense. Yeah. So then the mud just stays on your hands, pushes it down. It goes tumbling down the hill. Uh, a little magman leaps out of the fireplace like this little fire gremlin dude, okay. and he goes, "What?" <laughs> Wait, sorry, can you repeat that? I don't hear. <laughs> it cut out so bad. Cut out. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's all right, you'll get there eventually. We can he tell says, what the fuck is your problem? And like an angry little voice, he's cut it. Sometimes when I cut out, I like to imagine that, that it's actually just cutting out from what you guys can hear. <laughs> yeah. Like, Dirt like three times is like, what? 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 <laughs> ugly little fucking gremlin. If you have a second action, can you throw it? Can you kick you it do have floor? a second attack. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it, it, uh... <laughs> it's hot, but like, uh, I wasn't prepared hot. for this. <laughs> hey man, you're angry and he's shouting at you. Just fucking hey, boot it. It said the fire was alive. Yeah, it said yeah. the fire was alive, but I don't know if this guy's like evil. I don't know. Maybe he's just well, chilling. He a shove it. Uh, uh, he's made of fire, it. and he looks like he's about to start biting your feet. Okay, so I just like I just fucking like with with the mud around my hands, just like grab him and just fucking like toss him. I try tossing him <laughs> into the water. <laughs> yeah, uh, make a another attack roll, strength and proficiency. All right, is this advantage as well? Oh, this is advantage as well because it's a grapple. If there's someone that you need to start with a. <laughs> Oh yeah, I think you need to grapple someone first, and then you can throw them. But this, I, I'm, I don't care. Okay. I'm letting this be different. I'm okay. letting this be different. Yes, um, yeah. That's gonna be an eleven. It's gonna be an eleven. He rolls 
a uh, natural 19 to resist it. Uh, so you kind of pick this guy up to throw him. Uh, and I have to pull up this guy's stat block. We're going to roll initiative just Dirt Crawler in the main. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, man, this is tough. All right. My initiative is uh, a seven. Seven. This thing's initiative is Jesus Christ, nineteen. So it goes first. Um. Well, it's gonna set itself on fire. Uh, make a dexterity saving throw. Can do. That's going to be a saving throw. Just a 12. Aww. Oh, but I have danger sense advantage on deck saving throws against effects you can see. That's true. You have advantage. Oh, yeah, baby. Um, that's going to be 15. Okay, yeah. You only take two points of fire damage as it sets itself ablaze. Uh, and then it's going to try to attack you. Um, and it misses. Yeah. Uh, it's our turn. New uh, new armor moment. All right. Uh, yeah, we're gonna pull out the axe. Axe time. Let's All right. Go. Yeah. Um, you pull out the axe. Uh, go ahead. Roll the hit. Um, that is going to be a. Uh, that's just a nine to hit. A uh, nine to hit. A uh, nine misses. Oh, yeah. uh, you have two attacks. So. Oh yeah, but I do have two attacks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's gonna be a twenty-five to hit. 25 hits. Uh, roll damage. Don't forget to add your rage damage. Yes, sir. And Don't forget to add your rage damage. And, and the your D4 mud. bludgeoning. Yep. And your mud damage. You're gonna <laughs> hurt. Damage. Um, that D4 will also crit, right? If it happens. Uh, yeah, if, if a crit happens, then the D4 is also doubled. Uh, 13 damage. 13 damage. Uh, make another dexterity saving throw. All right. Also with advantage. All right. That's going to be 19. Uh, you save and you only take three fire damage as this thing fucking explodes on its death. Jesus um, Christ. <laughs> you killed him. And now you have 50 feet of movement. <laughs> That's true. All right. So it's dead. So after it just goes. In uh, it, initiative it, drop. Yeah. Um, but we will go back to Idris. You've dropped this bomb. Idris, you can make it over here to drop this bomb by now. Okay. Make another stealth check as you approach Big Barkless. Okay, times two. Yes. Um, 17. 17, I just need to roll a... Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Oh. That's fine. Um. Uh, okay, let me pull up the... Ethan uh, okay, uh, as you drop it, a tiny sprite comes out of one of the hollows, um, clocks what you're doing, uh, and is going to try to pick up the smoke bomb and throw it back at you. <laughs> oh. Damn. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, 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 that goes wide. But still, your smoke bomb lands uh, not where intended. Um, as a sprite comes out and interrupts you, it lands uh, more over uh, here. Okay, honestly, out of all the bombs to yeah, not go where it lands you, that's the that's true. That's the, yeah. He's so true. Uh, and then it's going to go... Um, You wanna try again? You wanna try again so bad? <laughs> I don't, man. I don't. I don't, even, I don't even have any more on me. I gave them to Max. <laughs> I like to think that Go you're back. saying this out loud. <laughs> Max can just like start smoke bombing like all of the guys gathered up. Uh, do you stay over by Big Barkless or do you move? Me? Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll move back over to the. To everyone else, I guess. 
the, yeah, the mid okay. zone. Okay. Uh, Minip and uh, Yui, what are you guys doing? I'd say Minip and Yui, like they're both players. <laughs> Remember those? You were probably told that there was a thing in this building. Mm. But there's also a smoke bomb in front of the door, so. I mean, should we go investigate the building, do you think? It's being blocked by a smoke bomb that's just activated. Yeah, but... The idea was cause problems and run into the forest. Okay, you're right. Um, I know something that can cause a problem. Uh, Minip turns to Yui and tells her to cover her ears. And then... Uh, fuck, it's not let me fucking scroll to my thing. Oh, God. <laughs> I think I know. Um, what he's gonna shut. Fucking fudge. I'm going to start blowing on my small ornate silver tin whistle that only Fae can hear hard as fuck. <laughs> oh, okay. That's pretty good. <laughs> now that's interesting. Let me just roll some. Um, ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Time to use my special Fav Lorna dice set for the first ooh. time. Ooh. Ooh. To see if this wakes her up. Wake up, fuck, bitch. Oh, yeah. Did any of the fogs activate on the balcony? Uh, no. The only only activate if you go on the balcony. Oh. Um, Finley, from inside the house, you hear Bab Lorna's loudest snore yet. Um, followed by the Dark Queen Elder going, shit, shit, uh, and going back to the casting. I uh, uh, can I go to the room uh, and explode that fucking thing that explode the boiler? <laughs> Let's explode the boiler, then go back to hide in the other room. Because <laughs> what's above it? One second, let me look at the map. Uh, I I just want to get to what Isaac yeah. is doing, and then we will switch back mm. to what you're doing. Yeah, that's just a you can hear from inside kind of thing. Um, Isaac, what are you doing? Well, I'm going to. I imagine the kettle's full of water already. Yes. If not, I'll I'll pop down the stream, fill it up. Um, kind of go to just around the tree area where the yellow hand is. Um, how do I use the orb? Do I just place it down? Uh, I guess I'll get, uh, uh, let me get the stats for the orb of going. I did not buy them because I also didn't have them. Sorry, do I have two smoke bombs or one? Two. Two. It might be worth just chucking one at my feet. Just for a bit of extra. You're going to... Do a yeah, you're going to use darkness, so might be a bit redundant. I think it would be a good idea to throw it at, like, the three giant frogs over there. Three giant frogs? Yeah. How far away is that? That's 40 feet-ish? Um, no. I will say, because the, because the darkness spell emanates from the container, if you were to run around, you would have a movable darkness cloud. Oh my god, you can run around with the darkness and the gonging and nothing can attack you from the outside because they can't accurately shoot at you. That kind of fucks. You do that. Uh, but then also you can't see because you're in darkness. But you also That's can't see and both of your hands are uh, taken up. But you're a monk, so you can attack with your feet. Oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, Max running around town with a really loud orb, a pot of dark w water that's emitting darkness, kicking the shit out of frogs. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I think that's got to be it's got to be done. Yeah. I was yeah, um, by that island until I, I guess I hear the bomb going off. I'll tell you later. On. Yeah, that's my plan at the moment. You hear the... All right, you're going to wait till Finley sets off the so bomb in I'll, the I'll house? Do the, no, or... I'll do the gong and stuff now, and then when I hear the bomb go off, I'll kind of retreat back to the gang. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, uh, you start up the cloud of darkness. I have to double-check the radius on darkness. Um... I think it's like 30 feet. It's pretty big. Oh, yeah, what did we get the Bullywog Freedom Fighters to do? Oh, oh yeah, you have to tell them to do something. Yet, they were taking, uh, it was some going out, cause some fucking chaos. Yeah, they'll be like near. They'll be out near the end of you guys causing chaos. Uh -huh. cool, um, okay. this is a fifteen foot radius sphere, so fifteen feet out from wherever you are. 
uh, in this in a in a radius is where this darkness is. The orb of gonging, um, yeah, makes a huge sound every round uh, to a range of six hundred feet. So as soon as you activate that, I'm going to make another Bev Lorna check. Wake up, wake up. Um, Finley, as you, uh, oh, hold on, I have to, s object. Uh, you guys, uh, screenshot the map however you want. I'm about to switch over. All right. Um, Finley, Nicole, from... have you ever heard of this thing called Silvery Barbs? That's true. Oh, I can use that. Um, from inside uh, to the room, as you dart through, you begin to hear... I better cancel that plan after I hear the Orb of Gong go off. Yeah, you hear the Orb of Gong go off. You hear uh, wakefulness start to happen. Um, make a perception check with advantage. Wesley is also... Can I use Wesley to do it since he has better hearing? Um, yes, you can. He does have advantage on, or he has, yeah. Yes, yeah. So yeah, uh, Stris can be helping you. You and Wesley would both be making these perception checks with advantage. Uh, cool. Okay, well, I got like a seven and a three, plus eight, so, or plus seven, so 14 for me. And for Wesley, he got a 15 plus five. 3020. Um, Wesley says that he overhears um, what sounds like arguing and uh, uh, a rapid uh, fancy person explaining. Um, fancy person being what uh, Wesley calls people with British accents. Um, uh, which uh, you assume to be the Darkling. Real and it's true. Um... I'm just gonna wait a bit. Okay, um... Yeah, shit, hold on, let me just... There might be a clone Bavlorna because I can't get the Bavlorna that's in there out. No, that's fine. But, you know. Um, Bavlorna she's going to... Bavlorna. Yeah, she's gonna go stomping through the house. You hear her stomping over this way, over this way, um... No, actually, sorry. She goes through this door. You yep. hear her in the hallway just outside of where you are. Um, make me another stealth check as she's actively looking around her house. Uh, 27. Wait, no, 29. 29, and she gets a... Uh, all right, uh, she doesn't seem to notice anything. Let me just get... Uh, I want a blight straw on the board. Holy shit, holy shit! Feel that, Florna! The frog! In charge of the dragons! Get it! Whoa! Get it! You! Fuck it up! She, oh, she get the guy. down, down the stairs through B1. Um over her head and she's going to uh hop on her lily pad um and you have no idea how to track her next um but the rest of you see appearing out of the uh doorway on her lily pad which seems ambulatory and like it's moving around she is riding Ooh, on this walking lily pad that's it. um she comes out onto the porch and she sees the smoke bombs and chaos. Um, and she's going to. There's probably screams out, fuck you, as he like runs away. <laughs> <laughs> she is going to, uh, you watch her reach her arm in a deeply horrible, dislocating manner. You know that thing where it's like, oh, you can't touch your elbow to your nose. Her elbow is fully down the middle of her gullet. 
Um, oh, her elbow God. is all the way down there. She reaches all the way down into her own stomach and pulls out what looks like a fresh newborn lornling. Awful. Drops it into the water. Repeats this process. Drops it into the water. Does not stop staring at you, dirt crawler. What uh? What do you think she's doing? <laughs> She's going to go ahead and back away from the edge of the water a good bit and kind of head to that area we were talking about. Trying to keep an eye on her, but, you know, right. mainly trying um, to get back I to... Just, I have all the bombs, so I can set up just both the Excalibur bomb and the Shadow bomb. Um, Finley, you know that Bavlorna has gone downstairs. You stopped hearing anything from the Darkling. Um... What do you do? Uh, can I st I'm still going to stealth, but I'm going to try to stealth into that room now. You're going to stealth into this room? Hold on. Um, let me get Fog of War. <laughs> Hi, Bevlorna. <laughs> Put Hi, her in the clone <laughs> chamber. <laughs> no. Um, the Darkling, um, with a few Lornlings sitting around the room. Uh, as you... Come in, you see that the, uh... Hold on, the Darkling is my... the guy in the hat? The Darkling is the lady in the hat. Um... Whoa, what is she? She seems to, uh, be, uh... Under the effects of both blindness and deafness, <laughs> as she tough. kind of moves around, unable to see or hear. Just like me, for real. Going up the stairs. Okay. Uh, you're going up the stairs, you're not going to the uh, room across? Going up the stairs first. Going up the stairs first, up to B8. That's because it's like straight around the corner. Yeah, fair oh. enough. I don't want to walk through the Opening roof. up this room. Uh, where's the book? <laughs> And then we're going to, after you get like a check in here, we're going to immediately switch outside. Got it. Uh, yep. Investigation for. Oh, there's a will o' wisp. Mm -hmm. Um, a ball of light bobs above the raft rafters, casting shadows over this room, in which the owner's messy habits are on full display. Rumpled and moldering rugs share floor space with food scraps, sacks, stacks of dirty dishes and tipped over clay pots whose plants have long since died. A bed that occupies one corner of the room has a pile of straw in place of a mattress. In the opposite corner stands a squat chest of drawers with a watering can resting atop it. Uh, the only other furnishings of note is a stocky wooden chest with a sturdy iron padlock. It sits in another corner between two closed doors. Um, stealth? Uh, yeah. Roll a stealth check. Um, they roll the lights. But don't add the plus 10. Okay. Uh, do I still, I still have advantage because of my. You still have advantage because of the armor, but you do not add the, uh, 22, plus 10 to it. 23. 23. Struz? Uh, as you. As you look around the room, uh, you feel that you are not sort of blanketed and cloaked by that uh, yep. nature magic that sort of allocated where Stris being with you. Um, you do not notice her exit because of the nature of the magic, but you do notice her absence. Uh message stress where are you uh where where do you point to you have to point in a direction uh downstairs down's a direction down yeah uh you point straight down uh you find you hear your message connect um uh, you you feel the magic of the message connecting uh but there is no reply uh oh. She's gone rogue. Who knew? Hey, I'm, going back to, <laughs> I'm going back downstairs. Um, you go back downstairs. Make me an investigation check against her stealth while she still has the thing up. Ah, oh, right, Basha. Okay. 
Hey, hey, 30. Amen. Amen. A 19, mm-hmm. 19 plus 11. 30. 30 investigation. God damn. Okay, she gets... A plus 10. She gets a plus 15. She rolled a One 15. Four, Meets a pizza, baby. It's just that you can't hide from me. Simple. Uh, <laughs> you can't hide. I'm a fucking uh, investigator. See, uh, the Darkling has sort of uh, stumbled over to the corner. Um, and you see that Stris has made her way into a cabinet. She's looking at a series of folders. I'm the corner. I'm waiting. You're in the corner. Um, she she's looking over at you. She knows she's been caught, but the way she's looking at these things, you know, she does not want to leave them. Okay. Uh, and goodness, she can't lift them herself. Can you go get? Can you get Finley out of the shadow zone? No, I can't. I have to open the shadow zone to do that. I have to make another clone unless there's nope, one nope. of those. We have a backup. <laughs> <Okay>. We have <laughs> a backup. Um, right, you go I'll, over I'll, I'll, and. This guy's blind. You go over uh, and you find two... um, Hold on, let me get the descriptions for these. You find some really interesting things, Stris. Stris found the treasure for you. (laughs) She knew it was there. She's a double agent. (laughs) Um, You find two uh, research folders. They look like scientific research, but like Arcana. Um... One of them in uh, bold red writing, prism. The other in bold yellow writing, prism. Uh, the red file has uh, uh, the, subte- the subtext F5, the shatter incident. Um, while the yellow file has F2, file A. Um, um the shadow. It, can I just post the shadow for the shadow incident? Uh, uh, roll an investigation check. It seems like she was looking into, uh, Stris had already cracked this one open and was taking a peek at it herself. 17, 28. 28? Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> um, I'm going to give you this full thing <laughs> later. Okay. But I'm going to give you the full thing later because you hit the maximum DC of 28 for every piece of information. Hell yeah. Oh, let's fucking go. Hell yeah, I did. Finley. This guy detects um, shit. Off. I'm so the, t- to summarize, the Shatter incident, um, <laughs> you find uh, what PRISM stands for. Practical research involving Sylvan magic. Hmm. That is nice. Um, the Shatter incident uh, details the events of Archmage Clarice Morilia uh, casting Shatter on a significant node of evocation energy. Uh, and the disastrous results that followed in the attempt to research something called Project Phoenix. Oh. All right. Chat, what That's the fuck is going cool. on? We're going to learn stuff. Can you spell it? Lord. I keep friendly a fucking knowledge bonus. Holy shit. Yeah, this is a lot. Um, I will... I will... Actually... Fuck it. Uh, does Finley read this whole thing, or does he just parse it? He's just gonna parse it right now. Okay, I'll read it out to you later then. Yep. Uh, do you take uh, F two file A as well? Yes. Okay. Oh. Um, you stick these in. Uh, also in this cabinet, you find uh two recently opened letters. Um. One of them plain, uh, with a broken orange wax seal showing the shape of a doll. Uh, the other one is 
The parchment is dark blue, dotted with stars, the ink a shimmering silver, though it also has the same orange color uh, wax seal. This time it seemed like it showed uh, the comedy tragedy masks, but both faces depicted uh, tragedy. Hey, um, yes, I'm also taking those. All right. Um, yeah, you take the Endolin letter, the Scabatha letter, um, the Shatter Incident file, and then F2 file A. So there's the prism folders, the Hague letters. Prism folders, Hague letters. Yep. And I'm going to get the exact details. Okay, now I'm going to just kind of thieves can't hand symbol upstairs. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Um, you see that she seems to understand that. It seems that uh, she has started researching Thieves' Cant in her own time. Um, yeah, she, she hops back on your shoulder. Uh, she kind of uh, whispers, sorry. Um, but she goes with you back upstairs. Uh, now we are going to switch over to everybody else. That's chill, that's chill. That's chill. So cool. It's so cool. There's only... Yo, the vision happened! What? Guys! Seems familiar. Wait a minute. Chat. Wait a minute. Chat. Mm. You have alerted the frog. You have, you have, have alerted the frog. Out here, you have alerted the frog. Um... Oh. Saved objects. A horn of light straw is right there. Oh, sorry. And she is sending through the water. Uh -oh. Three Lornlings uh, are swimming towards shore to check this out. Uh, you see, this one actually starts going around this way. Uh, this is under the house, not. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, I've already been so, putting uh, it down, what do you guys right? Um, and then the orb of gonging goes off again, and Bavlorna, uh, her attention shifts, she runs to the edge of the balcony, she turns over there, uh, and she's going to, um, oh, I know what she's going to do. I know what she's going to do. Hopefully go back to bed. She's going to use a legendary action. The house isn't destroyed yet. Kill it. <laughs> destroyed. Yeah, uh, and she's she's going to use uh, active deployment to uh, take one of the allies within her line of sight and put it somewhere else. So she mm. sends this frog over to start investigating the gonging noises. Uh, at dirt crawl. Uh, not dirt. Sorry, uh, Max. As you're walking through, you feel the darkness settle in, um, surround you, uh, and just at the edge of your vision, you see a giant frog is starting to approach you from the darkness. Okay. This is your last three round of actions. <laughs> and then we're going to roll initiative. Uh, was I was I already running down this direction when she walked outside? Yeah, you're already running down this direction. I'll give you another twenty feet. Uh, sure. But this is this is turn cool. time. We're gonna go. We're just gonna go in alphabetical order. Idris, what do you do with your last turn? Free turn. Oh uh, fuck. We can we can come back to you if you want to do dirt crawler first. Is. Okay, dirt mm -hmm. crawler first. What do you do? Um. Okay, so I see these guys down here. I'm just going to try to group up with the gang. Or at least, wait, okay, let me go. Wait, so is it 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40? Um, and unless you deal or take damage, your rage is going to end. Um, Did I deal? Oh, yeah, because that was technically like a round ago or whatever. Uh, that was a round ago. I guess I'm fine with that. I have, I have more ranges. I don't think. Yep. Get a um, one I will one. use my dash to uh, 10, yep. 15, 20, 25, 30. Gotcha. 35 and just hang out. You have way dash more than 35. Uh, uh, that was 35. I can get one more, but I I, I don't want to get too far from everybody else because yeah. I, I assume they're all going this way as well, but I don't know for sure. Uh -huh. All right. And then, so I'm just going to... Double check something. 
I can't wait to find out that that pot like was nothing. <laughs> <laughs> um, you have fifty feet of movement speed right now because you have uh forty feet base and you have the increase from yeah. Long Strider. That's Just letting true. you know. That's true. That's true. Um. How many feet is each square again? Is it 10? 10. 10. Yeah, 10 by 10. So it's like split into four little smaller cubes. You can move five whole squares. All right. Uh, so uh, with that, that is Dirt Crawler's turn. Um, Minute, do you have anything you want to do? Last round of uh, that. You see Bavlorn on the, uh, on the balcony. Still going at the whistle. I can just hold that in my mouth, right? I don't need my hands free. Um, hmm. You have a beak. Yeah, I have a flexible little duck bill. Roll me a... Close on things. Roll me a sleight of hand check with a low DC. Interesting. That's... How low is this DC that we're talking about? <laughs> Eight? Like a seven? Okay. I'm pretty sure I have proficiency in sleight of hand, because stealing is part of my religion, so that's going to be a six... Plus three, total nine. Punk ass. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, you are able to keep it in your mouth while flying. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to fly 10 feet up so I can be out of the way of any little troops with short range of melee shit. And, um, hmm. Why do I want to go after that? I don't think I. Well. They're probably screaming, we're supposed to group up over here. Yeah, no, we aren't supposed to go up over there, but I need to make sure I'm causing enough chaos to distract them away from Finley. So, I mean... The chaos is just outside of the house. <laughs> anyway. That's true. Okay, I have 15 feet of movement. I guess I'll just go... Yeah, I'll just move closer to that. Saying it like that. Okay, one, two, minutes three, and... Is that right? I didn't need to move one closer. I'm 10 feet up in the air, at least. Yeah, 10 feet up. Uh, okay. Yeah. So that's you. Uh, Aegis, do you have a thing to do? Um, I guess I'm just going to move back. Two, three, four. Like here. Here. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, Max, what are you doing? You have a frog approaching you. Um, yeah. I've, I've, but you have can they make seen this... me? Uh, it doesn't see nice. you. It was sent in the direction of the gong noise. Okay. Um, I'm not sure whether they just take legs. I just put the stuff down, leg it back to the gang. Oh, you're leaving the stuff there? You're not like bringing the distraction cloud with you? I think that's the plan. Yeah, that's a good right. idea. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you start moving back. You also have a nice big movement speed, uh, so you can probably get to like. Oh god, I can just do the math. Forty good. feet at the moment, and I think. Twenty. Thirty. Forty. And then if you dash, you can get four more. I'll dash. Ten, I'll dash back to the dirt. Dirt dash. Yeah. Uh, we have Max over here. Dirt crawler over here. Idris over here, um, Minip and Yui over there. Um, oh, I'm gonna put little indicators down for. What? On those ones should be one, two, three. Don't disengage. Yeah. No. Uh, those little dots representing how many rounds you have left uh, on each of those smoke bombs. Cool. Max still has two left. And Max still has two <clears throat> smoke bombs that he hasn't used. Yeah. Um. All right. Well, with that, I'm going to ask everybody outside of the house to roll initiative. All right. Okay. We will incorporate the inside people uh, when I when uh, we need to. I have a plan. All right. So that's a dirty twenty for initiative. Oh yes, we have yeah, initiative yeah, chat. Start, you have an initiative channel. Please start doing it there. 
Oh, I didn't. I did re-roll a bunch of pre-roll a bunch of initiatives. Didn't yeah. pre-roll that Lawrence. That's interesting. Oh, I cat wanted to do that. that. Table. I wanted to do that here with you guys. Yeah. Come on, shitty roulette, rude dice look. Come oh. on, shitty rude dice look. <laughs> Fuck you guys, you can't invoke that while I'm rolling for my boss. <laughs> That's like the best time to invoke it. It makes the most sense. Alright, that... God damn it, girl. Yes! Yes! <laughs> we love doing that. It was a neutral roll, she just has nothing to, to, to add to it. You and me both, She's sis. Big and slow. Oops, I can't just do 13. Oh, I have to roll for Yui as well. Um. Probably just put the shadow bomb in a corner and it'll just like get rid of all. Yeah. Might have oh, to damn it, girl. Haha. <laughs> You got Yui got lower initiative than Bathorna. Uh-huh. No. You invoked the shitty dice luck for Yui, idiot. No. Sacrifices must be made. That's your girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, but like I feel like, you know, Bathlorna being dead is a bit more important than that. Damn, I guess. Maybe just a little. He's on that grind set. <laughs> Uh, okay. Oh, you also have to Six. summon scale bug swarm. I forgot about that. I do. I only so, have the one though, so I'm I'm holding on to that in case it seems dire. That's fair. God damn. That's so true. I have that. I have that one use action surge that I, I have a feeling is gonna come in clutch sometime today, or I guess next session likely. Nah, we'll do it all right now. Easy. We kill her. We kill her this session. Come on, guys. Speed run. It looks happen. like I'm going to be able to blow up a house with her on it, actually. Oh, yeah. Baby. That would be quite efficient. I mean, that also works. Yeah, she just also gets her back. Don't forget to get the, uh, I think, just the... Um... You got a double back for Vansel. Yeah. I don't know yeah, if the chef is going to be Maybe, after maybe the chef, too. We don't. They might be chill. Or just blow them up. I don't um, say yeah. just blow them up. The caps are literally fueled by their thirst for blood. Oh, are they are they a red cap like him, or are they just a person wearing a red hat? Red cap can be women too. It's just yeah. sure, Excuse but I mean, like, <laughs> still question still stands. I, I I was I couldn't tell if the description led us. To uh, that no, place. you never investigated. <laughs> they might just have a red hat on. I wasn't you know, gonna like, ask. Like he said, they're wearing a maga hat. They must die. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it's just a red hat. Dude, it's just a red hat. It's a sushi <laughs> place on it. Make Heather great again. That's what we stand for with Bavlona. That's true. Bavlona is kind of Trump-shaped, huh? A little bit. Yeah. yeah. She's a little bit Trumpian. <laughs> Trumpian. That's fucked up. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, is everybody's initiative done? Yep. yep. It's all updated. All right. Top of the round is Durgler. Really? All right. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't know if I have anything to do. Um, I'm gonna step forward a little bit. Still like hiding, kind of behind this tree. Can, can I take a hide action? Is that a thing I can do? No. Wait. My bad. I didn't mean to start initiative. I wanted to switch back to Finley. Ooh, do no a problem. final Finley thing, and then we pick up initiative at the top of the next session. I got scrambled. Gotcha. Don't worry about no, your turn no, yet. No. Shame. Guys, it's been four hours. Yeah. We gotta move it. Yeah. Oh. And... Oh shit, it has. Okay. It's three o'clock, yeah. yeah. Um Let me see mm, get any final screenshots because we will not be going back to this page until next week. Oh hey Nico, I was wondering. Um I read about this thing called Silvery Bob. Do you know anything about that? <laughs> I do know some stuff about it, but I'm not uh, very attentive when it I'm comes switching to over it. now. There we go. Finley, what are you doing? Okay, so there is one. Okay, we have. You have uh, a bunch of. This one. Hmm? 
there investigate is, around here. There is the door here and the chest here, and those are the two things I want to loot. And All investigation right. check. Investi roll an investigation check first. Um... And do I have to be stealth on entering the top floor again? Yes, uh, but you have the plus 10 back. That's good. Uh, 15 plus 17, 32. I love For the stealth? Yep. All right, yep, you're sneaking away. Uh, 15 plus 11, 26. 26, all right. Um... The chest of drawers. This chest contains full. Uh, you, you don't find any traps around the room, but you see the alarm system. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh. Yeah. Uh, it's sort of as you approach the chest, it kind of floats more warningly. Uh, over at the chest of drawers. Uh, this chest contains folded dresses and other garments that Bavlorna wears occasionally. None of them were made for her, but she has adjusted them to fit her toadish form. All of the garments are discolored from age and neglect. Uh, the watering can on the chest is rusty, but contains a gallon of fresh, clean water. Nothing in Pally's Um, You see four dead plants in tipped-over pots, uh, and Striss sort of... Um, uh, comes to alert on your shoulder and gets to your attention. Um, uh, those aren't those aren't just plants. Those are alive. Those are guys. They want water. They're really thirsty. Because oh. okay. dryads can speak to plants. Um, Let's stealthily try to pick up four potted plants. It's hmm. just, you need to. Would they be okay in a bag of holding? Um, or we could just water them. We're going to blow up the house. Oh shit! True. Um, I don't think they'll be good in a bag of holding. They're like alive. That's what I was thinking. Um. I... We also have a nature cleric in the party, so we could be upset. Oh, true. Yeah. Um. Shit. What if we give them to the, uh, the goat? My goat. Oh, the goat! I'm, I'm going to, like, put all of them upright, at least. They're, they are just screaming for water. Watering can. Uh, yeah, you water the twig blights. Um, one of them pulls out a black enamel iron key out of its pot and hands it to stress. Ooh. Who say yeah? Who then hands it to you? Um, Let's go check for traps on that last yeah. chest and unlock it. Uh, as you approach the chest holding this key, the uh, the fucking will o' wisp seems to leave it alone and not be so bothered. Okay. Um, the padlocked chest has clawed iron feet and the initials B B rudely carved into its lid. Um, Pavlon, uh, big straw. Uh, yeah, uh, the, your previous investigation check shows that there's no traps, there's only the alarm system of the Will-O-Wisp, uh, and you can use the key to open it up. Yep. Um, inside, uh, you find a 12-inch tall marionette doll. Um, it has a face on each side of its body, one face a moon and the other a sun. Um, arcana check. Uh, yeah, make an arcana check. Either side of its body, like the back of its head, or either side of like its body, like the back of like... its head. Yeah, it's right, like okay. each each side of the body is made up to be the front of the body with its own face. Seven. Okay, cool. So we've got two fronts and no back. Uh, you can write. What's your arcana? Sorry. Uh, twenty three. 23, uh, you don't sense that this object itself is magical, but you recall um, that uh, Andalyn Moongrave, uh, her death and eclipses are linked, and this is sort of an eclipse-themed marionette. Mm -hmm. Bag of holding. 
Meg Polding. Um, you also find uh, an unpunched ticket from the Witchlight Carnival. Oh. Uh, shimmery and beautiful. It is signed by the carnival's owner, Isolde. Uh, I S O L D E. Uh, and three spell scrolls tied together with a lute string. Um, there's a sc scroll of identify, a scroll of remove curse, and a scroll of detect magic. Damn. Identify kind of mess. Is it? Well, a rogue can do that now, can I? <laughs> yeah, the rogue can't identify. Um, scroll of identify and scroll of... Uh, identify, uh, detect magic, and remove curse. Cool. Um, and do I have time to look into this last room? No. Uh, also, you've caught up the Will-O-Wisp in your selection. <laughs> He's coming with. Um, no, we are going to... Actually, yeah, sure. I'll let you open the door. You want to oh, get the no. door open? It's locked. Uh, and well, untrapped. Your previous traps trap okay. reveals it's not trapped. Um, untrapped. I'll unlock but it. But it is locked. By hand. And that is a 13 plus... Okay. And 23. 23. Um, you uh, crack this door open. It's pitch black inside, but the spell stress cast on you allows you to see into the darkness. This musty room looks like a miser's attic. Lying in tall heaps are discarded blankets, quilts, cushions, uh, and clothing of all shapes and sizes. Not to mention musical instruments, toys, dolls, jewelry boxes, flower vases, child-sized caskets, and broken furniture. Mm. Among the heaps of junk are a few oddities, including a stag skull hanging on one wall, a white porcelain jar with chicken legs standing on a table, a fancy helmet placed on the faceless head of a wooden mannequin, and a five-foot-long bronze statue of a giant frog squatting in the corner its mouth agape and filled with impenetrable darkness. Uh, a weak croaking sound calls your attention to a sh tiny, shriveled figure laying on the floor. It lets out one final gasp before dying and beginning to wilt wither away. You see a dead lornling on the floor. Um, a shape moves in the gloom, a dark humanoid figure lurking among the junk. It clutches a large spool of thread in one hand, as it heads for the door. You the see Hoda. you see a shadow holding a piece of thread charging out the door uh, towards you. And that's where we'll pick up next week. Uh, uh, I need that. It's Shadow Guy. It's Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> and the uh, yeah, you find a giant you find a giant frog mouth. Quickly throw a good berry in that Lornling's mouth so it doesn't die. <laughs> <laughs> it's not actually for always withering away. No, it's dead. Ooh, it's dead. Awkward. Um, you did it, Nico. You did the whole fucking thing except for two rooms. Yep. Goated. Crazy, even. Rogue mission success. It's just Rogue that mission success. Uh, let's talk scheduling. Are you guys free next weekend? Yes. Mm, only on Sunday. Um, Sunday, possibly. Probably. All right, we're doing it next Sunday then. I This is a big boss fight to keep it fresh in your guys' minds. This is like the actual fight part happening next week. Uh -huh. um, we're doing it next week. Oh, yeah, baby. I do also XO, have XO. this yep. week free, which I normally uh, We're moving to a weekend-only schedule now, so I'd rather just keep it smooth like that. Also, the only day I'd have free... I, I don't want to do it this week. I have school. I go to school now. Sure. Okay, oh. sure. Yeah. I really, really want to know it was in B9. <laughs> and it looks like in B10, there's a secret Wesley Hall I can send him through. There's <laughs> a Wesley Hall in B9? Wesley Hall? Wesley Hall? Wesley Hall. <laughs> um, I'd love to give you more on Project Phoenix and all that. I can't wait till next session. Oh, yeah, baby. 
Jeez. I can't. I was writing the DCs out, and I was like, okay, I'll give him one to reach for. Uh. <laughs> and boy, do I reach. And you hit the DC. It was DC 28. W. And I get to load all of Project Phoenix. Yay! I wonder who died in his brain being okay, brought so back. Okay, so Sunday, same time next week? Sunday, same time. Uh, that would be the 29th. Oh, aye, aye, yeah, Captain. Lovely jubilee. So, I can... I'm gonna go make some honey chicken noodles and go to bed. Enjoy. That sounds Have some. delicious. Um, on Friday, maybe. Oh, I'll tell, I'll tell you. On text oh, I can probably just put the Excartha bomb in like B7. Bye. 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 See ya. Bye. See ya. I think that, and then I think we're gonna place the Excartha bomb here. And... Shouldn't, wouldn't the center of the building be best? Oh, welcome back. It has sham. It has weak oh, points. Okay. Like, sorry, mid Finley rogue shit. I got my mic muted and messed up. I just thought I was thought I'd come out and see. <laughs> Based. <laughs> it's okay. And immortalized okay. forever on the internet. What a weird, what a weird on me conscience. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bye. See ya. Bye. Good night. Oh, God, my darkling got fucked right up. Sorry Dude, I was, I was, that's tough. Blindness and death wandering around a room being like, help. Yeah, fucking, hey, spent some of her spell slots. Real, yeah, true. Real and true. Mm. Wait, what? Yeah, what I'm, was that I'm... going on with... <laughs> hmm? Huh? Yes. Yeah, I'm very curious. Must have been the wind. Is, like, is going to be helpful to us or is also another enemy question mark? Yeah, it was a wolf. It was both. Uh, it was, uh, uh, no, we've it was already both. got one evil line creature on our team. Why not two? The um, Minute? the prophecy was oh, I... <laughs> whoa, predicting both good and bad outcomes. Uh, the stress part was a bad outcome because she snuck away. Um, the uh, fucking darkling part was said to be wheel, uh, which means. Whatever her sleeping thing was doing was helping. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Um, and, we and then it. the stairs Smile. creaking was like a neutral thing, and it was more just a warning that there's these stairs are bad. Yeah. Yeah. And they're All right. How'd you yeah. like your first heist, Nico? I fucking love Vogue. Oh my god. I love not rolling <laughs> below 20. Holy shit. It's just that <laughs> easy, Chad. It's just that easy. Just have always I... health action. Can't believe you fucking found stress. You were not supposed to find stress. I, of course, I found stress. <laughs> She's my protege. I have to. It's my job. He's on babysitter Listen. duty. Practical research involving Sylvan magic. Weird. What if the villain is dead and this is the research and to bring her back to life? True. Project Phoenix. I'll know. That's true. Yeah, you learn everything in the shower incident file. I love Finley Grant. He's so cool. Oh, I'm also gonna just roll real quick for I, how much I have that stress sound management stuff. Like I've I've done an investigation check in like all the Mmm, fuck, okay. Stress managed to read a good amount of that. Nice. Oh yeah, I guess I don't have the Bag of holding on me. I have both the Excalibur bomb. Yeah, I think. And you had the fish paint pot. Don't forget that you can like make a door. You know, yeah. Hatch, etc. Oh, I probably. I you can get into B nine. Probably gonna do that. Yeah, you can, yeah, get, into you can get into B nine that way. Yeah. Yep. Fuck your puzzle. Fuck yeah. <laughs> My puzzle. Amen. Whatever. Amen. I have I and think then, I can solve it by sending Wesley through that small tube. That's true. Assuming that Yeah, there is a little uh, mouse hole under the cabinet. Oh, yeah, it's on the map. Like that. That's true. I yep. once again, Finley perfectly built for Bob of Oak shit. I love it. Up. Yeah, having the fucking Wesley drone. Double Wesley and stress is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, don't forget you have um, a lantern. You have three pints of oil in that bag of holding. 
if you want to um, expand mm. the, the range of the bomb. I don't know if we know how big the bomb is. I'm just going to fuck up my 17, it sounds like. You also have um, this thing called Silvery Bobs. <laughs> okay, wait, okay. I think I kind of missed what's in B17. I know it's like some sort of like steam thing. Like, what is that? It's a contraption that's vulnerable to exploding. Oh. Uh, B17 is a distillery. Right. It's right. Um, the best kind of contraption. Wait a minute. I can probably... I can just get... Um, I could make a trap door like there to get into that last building. That last room. Or I could just sneak in normally. Can't, isn't, uh, oh, no. I guess we don't know if this door is unlocked or not, but you might be able just to literally walk through this door. I mean, I guess. I also <laughs> don't want to spend boring. time painting because... Yeah, yeah. Shit's, shit's hitting the fan for starting combat next <laughs> next time. You got you also yeah. Good luck. Few things. Good luck with that. Buy me like five, ten rounds to finish off everything. I was gonna say good luck yeah. with them um, fighting the shadow person up there alone. Hopefully that goes well. What do you mean alone? I'm never alone. <laughs> That's true. Aw. Um. Also, you have the camp pastry just like just open the door in the room, shut the door. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to remember to do this at the top of next session, so I'm just gonna do it now. Uh, roll an intelligence check, Nico. Uh, well, that's unfortunate. That one. No, oh, okay. Cool. I know advan what no advantage does to a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. there, there was like eights and shit and like bad rolls. It's just no. I had advantage on basically everything besides our counter checks. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you should send Wesley to wizard school next. <laughs> Funny thing is, I have a pupil that's pretty fucking smart. Uh, yeah, Stris is an intelligence druid, not a wisdom druid. Oh. So that's why she made the terrible decision of going into a hag's home. Cool. <laughs> Real. No, but think of all the things she could learn and how cool and smart she is. Mm, think of how she she's could die in many she's dangerous and violent ways. She's the perfect Hubersville person. To be Finley's apprentice. Chock full of so yeah. much hubris. The thing about that is, if you're filled with hubris, you can't be perfect. <laughs> hey, I mean, think about think about who her god is real quick, and then assume that hubris isn't part of her character. I mean, yeah, that's just like another massive flaw. <laughs> uh, for, if you well, don't, uh, yeah, I, I don't know if I... The more it makes hmm. sense for Finley to follow Isbob, then... The daughter of the forest. He wants to like plane trot. <laughs> yeah, but does he also not want to ever get any healing from the cleric? <laughs> oh, I'm sure Ooh. I can convince him. I don't think you could. Don't worry, guys. I'll I... just kill Dirt Caller and make my backup a cleric and make it not that one that easy. Make it. We have a second. loser. <laughs> oh, I love this. Oh yeah, goodbye uh, recording. So, so fun. Bye, Bye YouTube. Remember to like and bye -bye. subscribe.